It's Gulo 2. We're getting set up for what is sure to be an awesome Pokemon Crystal run by the amazing Kizaron, who is probably taking a bathroom break or something. He'll be here shortly. Uh, in the meantime, I've got a couple of donations for you guys. We have a $71 donation from Composite Meridian that just says, Good luck to all the runners. We have a $30 donation from Volshock Sorcerer saying, Good shout outs to my boy Kizaron for his upcoming crystal run. We have $50 from Dragon 28 saying, Good luck, Keys. All right, I want to get you guys an update on some of the bidding wars. The route choice is actually, a, at this moment, closed. And the winning route is for Alligator by a penny. <laughs> it was $126.01 for for Alligator and $126 for Entei. <laughs> so that is probably about the closest bidding war we will ever have on, at our... And we could have a tie. Yes, but that is uh, as close as it will ever get. We do still have a couple of incentives that are still going for this game. We have the hero Pokemon name, which will be for Alligator, of course. Uh, we have Goss is in the lead with $100, and Zachary is second with $7. We have the Poliwag or Dratini nickname. Right now, Anime is winning with $75, and Beefsteak is right behind it with $55. And we have the rival name, which... Uh, is currently anime with $141 and Jack with $125 and then Xarian with $20. Not going to lie, I'm kind of a fan of that last one. So all those donations will close relatively quickly. So if you want to get those in, a last minute snipe so that anime does not win one of the naming incentives, get those in right now.
We have a $100 donation from Arrow Shell saying, Donating to meet my boy Jack the Rival. I love you, buddy. We have a $100 donation from Mr. M saying, Anime sucks. Good luck, Keys. When is Fire Red Charmander any percent? All right, sounds like we are just about to get going here. Uh, keys are on, are you about ready? Yeah, of course. All right, you want me to count you down or are you going to count yourself down? I'll let you count down. All right, we're going to go on go. Okay. All right, three, two, one, go. Woo! So first and foremost, this is really important, I am a girl because it actually saves time. Um, for whatever reason, the way they handled the sprites, um, girl loads faster in the span of the run. I think it's only like a second or two, but you know. But anyway, hello, I am Kizaron. Couch, if you'd like to introduce yourselves. I'm Ultibiscuit. I'm Oro. Kirby Master. Kirby's not at an SGDQ right now to ruin it, so he's going to be here to ruin me instead. <laughs> um, I did not make an incentive for naming, so I'm going to go with uh, my girl from <laughs> Blaze Blue. <laughs> I literally just played the game for the first time an hour ago, and she was the only character I could win with, so uh, she's going to bring me great luck. Not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, right off the bat, you just kind of go through the usual beginning game shenanigans. Um, gen 2 was the first gen that introduced the real-time clock to the series, and that also includes dates. So we're setting it to Sunday for no particular reason other than a very, very important move later. Um, no to DST because it saves three whole frames. And then after then that, after that you just kind of go on. Um, obviously we're going to be using Totodile as the starter. I'm going to be saving beforehand because I need a really good one, especially since we're doing for Alligator route now. If we were doing Entei, I could take a subpar one because we would only use the Totodile for about an hour. But we're going to be using this bad boy for about three and a half hours now. So hopefully we get a decent enough Totodile fast enough. Um, I'm looking for 12 attack. 11 special attack and 10 speed. I can handle 9 speed as long as everything else is good. I can handle 10 special attack as long as everything else is good, but I cannot compromise otherwise. Uh, ideally, I get 13 attack though, because that's 15 dB. Um, what dBs are are what IVs are nowadays. It's a range between 0 and 15 that determines your growth rates of your stats. So if I have a 15 dB attack, which would be 13 at 5, then I have the best attack I could possibly have. It's basically the genetics of the Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, let me know when you need. Let me know when you need the name as well. Uh, I could use it right now, actually. It's uh, Goss, capital G A U S S. Okay. Okay. So hopefully Goss is good right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> we should just go through the second and third place names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like your name wasn't good enough. Sorry. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a little bit of a slow sequence to get this going. Hopefully, it doesn't take too many tries. Plus, since it's a marathon setting and I can save before a few hard fights. Oh, that is the worst Yikes. possible toad aisle. That was... Yikes. Goss, you're letting me down. Next. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Zachary, but we'll give Goss another couple tries at this. Don't let me down, Goss. I'm counting on you. That was rough. <laughs> that was literally the lowest possible stats in every single one I could have had. Do better, Totodile. Come on. Um, fun fact, uh, when I'm nicknaming, if you see the female symbol, that's actually an automatic reset because the way that uh, Game Freak decided to handle the attack stat in Gen 2 was if you could be male or female, female gets the lower end of the DVs, depending on the gender ratio. Totodile is um, 1 in 8 to be female, so it would be 0 to 1 DV. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. We'll make it work. But what are the odds of getting a Totodile you can run with? About 1 in 12. <coughs> like, I might fight a couple of spinners on purpose just to get an extra level. Like, a good one would be um, there's a spinner in the second gym named Benny 
that will get me to level 19 before the worst part of the Rival 2 fight, so I'm probably going to do that on purpose. Um, going through right now, we're not really caring about anything too much. Um, I'm going to fight a couple of encounters for experience because I want to be able to defeat the first trainer in the first gym a little easier. Uh, level 2 Pidgey is not good enough for me. Um, if I see a level 3, I'll fight it. Ideally, I just run into a Hopip on the next route because that will give me just enough experience. Um, fun fact for everyone, uh, it's been some time since I've done the Feraligator route, even though I was kind of rooting for it. So, expect a couple of slip-ups here and there, but I promise I won't go over estimate this time. <laughs> this time, this time. There are no cast farms in this game, so you're okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, Hopip's a 5% encounter here, I believe. Uh, so the chances of getting it aren't going to be terribly likely. Um, otherwise, I just want to see level 3 Pokemon, because I can 3-shot them, and it's pretty decently likely to go well. Um, you're going to see me kind of look off to the side every now and again. I have a program that tells me what my DVs are. And like I said, it's been a little while since I've done the Feraligator route, so I'm going to double check my notes now and again here. He's also using my laptop, which is, he's never used before, and it sucks. It hates me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just, I'll get the, I'll get the experience on the trip back, I suppose. Nice potion. Nice Lin potion. So if there's any donations that you can read off right now, now is actually a pretty decent time. It's just Mr. Pokemon blabbing as much as I am. <laughs> oh, we've got plenty of them. We have a $30 and one cent donation from PX Micaiah oh saying Gumi. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder who that's referring for. We have a uh, $5 donation from Arwing Pilot 114 saying for Alligator Clutch. Keys of love for Keyzeron. Good luck with a heart. Hearts. We have $25 from Steel Frost, the Limit Breaker 89, saying, Keyzeron, good luck, man. Just like Mom, we're rooting for you. $25 to Keyzeron's choice because he's a freaking monster speedrunning these games. Good luck, man. We're all counting on you. Yours truly, Steel Frost, the Limit Breaker. You're so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing you in Worcester speedrun these games gives me more inspiration to complete my 100% of Pokemon Soul Silver. Soul Silver is a great game. Good choice. We have a $5 donation from Ravine saying, Hey, Keyzeron, this is for me to change the wife you pick on stream. Wait, this isn't for your stream. This is for RPG Limit Break. I'm so proud of you, you Keyzeron, and don't forget to meme big. Donation towards Spike Vegeta's choice since Keyzeron claims he is the ultimate waifu. Does that mean I'm your waifu pick now since I'm your default? Yes. <laughs> also, this is really nice and convenient. So a, a big reason why Hopip is a good thing to fight is it only knows Splash, so I cannot possibly die to it. And it gives me 42 experience, which is, which is exactly the extra amount of experience I need to gain an extra level. Uh, not, not off of level 5, but uh, after the rival fight, you'll see me go up to level 7 instead of level 6. So, uh, pretty, pretty convenient. I'll, I'll give a shout out to Ravine for that one. Her donation led to this. <laughs> There's a $15 donation from Disaster Area saying, Missed my chance to donate to Keezathon, so let Keezeron decide where to put the money. What is your Dornus choice, anyways? Uh, it's a uh, next unmet incentive. So we got uh, our first major fight coming up here. It's uh, Rival 1. Nothing terribly scary. I can die. If I do, I'll be very impressed that I did. Uh, we can make it, make it up. It's just a little slow. Well, you know what happened like two days ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about those dark times. We've seen some pretty questionable fights in the practice room. Boy, have we. A pretty standard fight, you just lower its defense a little bit and then you just attack for days. Um, because we have bad speed, um, we're actually outsped by it, unfortunately. Otherwise, it would be a speed tie. Yeah, pretty, pretty standard fight. Another good time for donations if there's still more. I was going to say, uh, while we're talking about this, it's probably your last chance to get the naming incentive in for the rival if you want, it to be, if you want Jack to not be it, if you want anime to win. Anime. Now is the last chance. Anime. 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 Anime has to win so that it can lose. <laughs> <laughs> I do also want to mention, since we brought up what keys are on the incentive, which, which, is, which is the next unmet incentive, we do have several unmet incentives during Lightning Returns, which is the run immediately after this. So you'll have all of this run and all of this uh, the next run. But <laughs> I, I'm so to, uh, smart. <laughs> there are two post-fight runs that have not been met. There's the 
I'm going to butcher this. Boon and Bells plus Post Run and Erish Kigal. I'm hoping those are close enough. I have not played Lightning Returns myself, but... I was just waiting for it to say crit after you healed. <laughs> That's now exactly we get the best move in the game. It. Yeah, so at level 7 we learn a move called Rage. Um, fitting for me, of course. But um, <laughs> it's actually stupidly broken. So as long as you're continuing to use it and you take damage while you're using it, it will stack forever. So we use that to mitigate having to fight extra trainers so we can take out both gyms early, quickly. What the heck? What's the base power of it? A 20? 20? Yeah. It's really low, and then it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Also, I'm really, really proud of myself for uh, healing when I did. Uh, so we do need rival name now. All right, let me do one quick refresh. It should still be Jack, unless something has changed in like the last 30 seconds. Oh, but... well, the donation total just changed on the stream. Uh, anime won. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Of course it did. <laughs> With $251 over Jack's $236. Thank you guys so much for all the generous donations so far. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, anime. And just in case that's not enough anime for you, there still is the Polywag name, where anime is still winning with $111. Oh, really? <laughs> and Beefsteak is winning with, or is second with 70 so, Are you going to beat anime with anime? Can mm. we let anime win a second time? Mm. I, I don't know about this one. This is kind of reminding me of a SGDQ 2015 where John Cena won twice. <laughs> <laughs> How about last year when everything was Gumi? That too. <laughs> Gee, I wonder whose fault that was. Yeah, I, I wonder whose fault that was. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so it's nighttime already, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, with the Totodile route, I really want to get a cut slave. Um, we, we did kind of lose time because we had to reset the Totodile a couple of times, but uh, ideally, you go through this route while it's still daytime and you get a Sentret. Uh, we, can ch we can make up for that with either a Bellsprout or an Oddish later. Um, these encounters right now are kind of useless, though. Unfortunately. Go, Goss. Oh my goodness. One day we'll get out of the sea of encounters. <laughs> you know what the chances are, roughly? Like, nope. I guess for that. Nope. Nope. It's just YOLO it. I should, but I don't. <laughs> Top player keys right here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because it's nighttime, uh, routes 30 and 31, which are the next two routes, uh, give us a chance to run into a polywag. I believe that's 20%. Um, I would really like to run into it early. If I don't run into it early, then the incentive can actually keep going for a while. So in one regard, not running into it's good. But in another regard, I'd just rather get it now because um, while I do get a pretty much guaranteed chance later, catching it later is a little annoying. Also, I'm going to be a weenie and grab another berry because I don't trust this guy. <laughs> Sorry, Goss. You can already see that the game tried to stack the deck against you, so... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was, what, like four or five encounters? I think average is, like, two. How did I know? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That was very unfortunate. Please. <laughs> I didn't know that Grunt was on my couch. <laughs> but so hopefully uh, the encounter rate gets a little better for us here, so we can actually get to another fight instead of running over and over. Unless it's a polywag. I still keep on expecting you to walk into a center and then walk out. <laughs> bingo has ruined me. <laughs> bingo randomizers. How about the single bingo? Yeah, there's actually a there's a tournament going on right now. It's toward the tail end, but there's a, there's a randomizer for Crystal, and we made uh, bingo cards for them, so we have a the Crystal Cinco Bingo tournament going on right now. Cinco means five in Spanish, so. <laughs> <laughs> you sure about that one? Last I checked. Can anyone confirm? Did they change it? <laughs> yeah, did it change recently? <laughs> did they patch it? There, there's a patch recently. <laughs> <laughs> what is this encounter rate, though? And Oof. none of it's Poliwag either. It's making me sad. Just like the sad face on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> so 
All right, so because we got the extra level and we have Rage already, we can actually do a slightly alternate fight to this. Normally this fight is just scratch until you win. Um, this will actually show you how ridiculous Rage can get. So we're going to hit Pidgey with Rage, and then once he hits us, you're going to see the text box that Goss's Rage is something or another, and um, the move will just get stronger and stronger and stronger to where instead of a 5-turn fight, this should be a 4-turn fight, unless the Rattata does nothing but Tail Whip and I low roll at some point in time. Um, on the topic of low rolls, so in this game, uh, damage isn't set unless it's a set damage move, something like Seismic Toss or, or Nightshade or stuff like that. Um, it's a range between 1 and 39. I don't remember why it's 39. Um, from Gen 3 on, it's between 1 and 16. But So damage rolls have a, an X and 39 chance to produce a certain amount of damage. So if I say something like a low roll, that means it was on the lower end, like 1, 2, or 3. If I say high roll, then it's probably like the 1 in 39 highest thing. Where's the polywag, though? I mean, this is a good thing, isn't it? His butt is really indicative of my feels right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I said, 20% chance. 20% is like the equivalent of 5%. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the Polywag is just trying to give you time for anime to not win. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks, Polywag. <laughs> Counting on you. That's really important that we don't give Mom money, because um, not only do we need to spend it, but she spends it frivolously. It's pretty ridiculous. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I risk it? I'll try... Don't do too much damage. Ooh. Get in. Not, we're taking a nice trip back through Route 30. <laughs> Okay, nice. good. Good. So, Bellsprout's actually a really scary choice to go after. You should normally never go after it until after the first city. Um, biggest reason why is because the next set of Bellsprouts are at level 7, and they have a second move, so you have, you know, 50% chance to not take damage, which is kind of nice because we took a lot of damage there. Also, this is going to really throw me off because I'm used to bingos, and I don't have to pick up the item ball that's below me. <laughs> All right, last chance for Poliwag. All right, so we have a chance to defeat the anime, so keep the money coming in. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not let anime win this. We have a $20 donation sacred. from KCG saying, seeing groups of people like me spend their time playing games I like for a cause that means a lot to me is inspiring. Thank you all. So by entering the center and leaving, he's set a, uh, basically a respawn point if he were to wipe. I'm also going to save before this fight, and I'm going like super safe with this. So this fight has one Pokemon. It's a Spearow. It's not terribly scary sounding, but if it criticals you, you're in really bad shape. Um, more often than not, you need to have a berry equipped so you can have an extra 10 health to your name because it does a lot of damage to you, uh, anywhere between 6 to 8. In our case, we're going to take 6 damage per, um, barring a critical, of course, or a lower high roll. Uh, this fight actually kind of shows why Rage is so good. The first fight, not so much, but... If you notice, our first hit is going to be pitiful, just absolutely minuscule. And as the fight goes on, I'm going to deal more and more damage. And you can imagine how effective that is as you fight more and more Pokemon in a fight. It's like this is going to get him pretty close to... Ooh, or crit. Nice. Or high roll. Okay. There you go. 1 in 39. Everyone celebrate. <laughs> Clap. I'm so good. <laughs> I also have not been paying attention to my stats at all. Shoot. <laughs> I think I saw 14 speed, I'm not sure. How much does rage increase each time you get hit? It's like plus uh, 20 or something? I think it doubles? I think it's a fixed amount, but I don't- I think it is plus 20. I don't remember though, for sure. It definitely seems like it doubles on the first one, but I don't know. I, the thing I remember about it is it applies its damage differently than something like Fury Cutter or Rollout that just continues to stack. And then that caps at like a 5 stack, I believe. Also, we lost the speed tie because we're slow. And then we won the speed tie, so we got no rage boost. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Keys of luck. Keys of luck. A lot of the early fights are uh, roller coasters. Yeah, and a lot of them are literally mash A for rage. Eventually, it'll get a little more 
a little more detailed than this, I promise. Speaking of mache, there was a time where you asked someone to mache and win the fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a... While I was practicing, I gave my controller to uh, one S grunt, and all he had to do was mash A to win, and I came back, and he died. <laughs> we love you, S grunt. I was pretty impressed, and also really sad. Wait, wasn't it like a double low roll or something? Yeah, he, he had the low roll twice to get what he got, and he, he did it. That, that sap. We keep talking about all these ominous fights in the practice room. I, I, <laughs> There will be many stories. There, there will be plenty. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have a couple of this run as well. <clears throat> Cast form. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and as soon as this battle loads up, I'm going to pull up my stats just so I can do a little bit of a better job of keeping up what's going on because total out stats are super duper important in determining what I do late in the game. So don't mind me being a not speed runner here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. How the heck? Oh, you're level 10, duh. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Those are not good stats for what it's worth. So uh, expect fun times. I, I did see low speed, so go me, I guess. Yeah, th th this guy's toast. Ooh, yikes. That is ugly, you see? Yes. That's ugly. Oh my. <laughs> that is... That is a thing. We uh, So our stats right now, like I said before, it's a range of 0 to 15. Um, we have 7 HP, which is pretty normal. Uh, we either have 8, 10, or 12 for attack, which is decent enough. Uh, 1 or 3 defense, which... Um, 1 or 3 speed, which... And then uh, 7 special, which is I can't go any lower than what I've got. <laughs> um, you, you pretty much want Totodile to have, like, 10 or 11 plus and everything for a decent dial, but I believe in Goss, and so should everyone else. So as you can see, like I said, you're pretty much mashing A a lot early. Like, I was so enamored with staring at a completely different screen, and we won the fight anyway. Um, <laughs> technical prowess on my end, of course, but um, shout-outs to uh, Goss. We have a $10 donation from Draconium Law saying, Are you ready to be the best like no one ever was? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. Because I already am the best. Uh, <laughs> I'm so humble. Goss is going to do his best to make sure that doesn't happen, by the way. Yeah. You really need to get like a poster saying humble. And just hold it up and keep his head. <laughs> Every single time your ego gets too big, just... <laughs> <laughs> we have a $5 donation from Madam Colleen saying, Hey, keys are on. What's the DV spread on the Totodile and Entei plushes? Are they world record viable? Good luck on the run. Entei, yes. Totodile, no. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Keys' eagle was so big that it was blocking Entei from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help it, okay? We have a $5 donation from Bloody Dawes saying, Donating for my chance at the Poke Prizes. I love RPG LB and all the awesome people there. We love you too. So plot-wise, we get an egg that, uh, it was the same egg that we picked up earlier when we went to Mr. Pokemon the first time. Um, it becomes a Togepi, and yeah, facts. <laughs> uh, we don't want the egg, though. Eventually, I'm going to deposit it, so it's going to live a very lonely life of never hatching. Got places to be. Got things to do. This is the last stretch where I can get encounters for the most part, because we're going to pick up a Repel. Good old Wooper. I love so how he has happy. like the Wi-Fi signal on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Oh, rats. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $5 donation from or 90 saying, Just face it, Keys. Anime always wins. No. Let's meme big and name that Poliwag anime. No. Why would you do such a thing? Aura will play forbidden memories if anime loses. Oh. Don't put me on the line. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do it anyway. Who's the one who bought Yu-Gi-Oh! At, at, at the game shop after they gave us a discount? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we, we, we went eh, to a retro game store. 
And um, we'd gone there last year, and I'm sure people who have gone to the event before have gone there the year before as well. Um, we brought up that the marathon was going on, and he offered a 10% discount to anybody who had their limit break badges on them. And I was staring at a very bad Yu-Gi-Oh game, and I was like, I'll get it if I get the discount. And he's like, the boss approved the discount, so I just grab it. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then you played it for like two minutes yesterday. I played it for two minutes, and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Worst decision of my life. So just a quick update on that Poliwag bidding war. It's super close. It's $122. Anime is in the lead. Of course. At $120, Jack is in second. And tied at $120 is Polk Champ. <laughs> Wait, what? What, what? Champ? P-O-L-G champ. Old champ. <laughs> Neat. Like polywag? Pol oh, I get it. <laughs> it. It took me a second. I get it. So. Speaking oh, of, we have $120 from 3Doc saying, Keys, love watching your runs. I just wanted to say good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Put my money right, toward so, uh, the <laughs> <polywag. laughs> That was our uh, that was our first encounter with a spinner. So what a spinner is is a trainer that randomly looks all four directions. There's actually some mechanics to it. So um, up and left are paired, and then down and right are paired. Um, unfortunately, they can also get stuck. Sometimes it's to our benefit, and sometimes it's to our detriment. Like right there, um, he really didn't want me to pass, and I was actually genuinely expecting him to uh, look at me even after that. But uh, I could, we got lucky enough, I suppose. Um, this is an optional trainer I'm fighting. It's um, not counting any wild encounters you fight. This is the only optional trainer that you go out of your way to fight because by fighting this trainer, you get enough experience to evolve after the Bugsy fight, which is really important because immediately after Bugsy is Rival 2. Um, anybody who's familiar with any Pokemon speedrunning at all knows that Rival 2 in most speedruns is for some reason either the first, second, or third hardest fight ever. It's really quite ridiculous. But um, if you don't evolve before Bugsy, or after Bugsy, but before Rival 2, then you're still a Totodile, obviously, and you don't learn a move called Fury Cutter, which is something that you get from Bugsy. Fury Cutter is absolutely essential to winning the fight. There's another spinner coming up that I'm actually going to save before because this guy can. Okay, he can be stuck. Never mind. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> It's two in a row stuck looking right. I know. It's, it's not a good sign. There's something over there. This that's right. Really nice. <laughs> it might have something to do with this $20 donation from Rizukun saying, May this run be blessed. Thanks, Thanks Rizu. It's right there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Wave for the camera. Wave for the camera. <laughs> She's waving off screen just so she can't be seen. We know you're there. <laughs> Um, so this is the first of uh, three times that we have to deal with Team Rocket. Uh, Team Rocket is back after three years. Um, Giovanni is not. I actually have to look at my shop here because it's different. Do, 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 do. Don't mind me, just taking some time. Do, 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 do. Nice speed running. Thanks, man. We have a $50 donation from smooth to manifold saying, Polk Champ, because anime cannot win. Also, Goss likes mouse. Donate for anime. Do we need to kick you off the couch? <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you here? <laughs> you, you're not supposed to ruin RPG Limit Break 2. <laughs> <laughs> so that shop is slightly different from what I'm used to. Um, for world record attempts, you go for Entei. As Entei is significantly faster if everything goes right. Do I need to heal? No, I don't. I'll save anyway, because this fight can kill you if you're unlucky. Um, I'm going to be taking a lot more safety saves than I planned on to because I'm running a worse Totodile than I had planned, but I figured it'd be a lot faster to do it this way than reset for like 30 minutes and then go overestimate that way. <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. I mean, no runs have ever gone estimate at this event before. No, everything's underestimate. Yeah. Except two seconds. <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Also, to anybody who was... Um, was watching runs yesterday. Do not fret. Uh, my GameCube is very far away from me, so I can't accidentally eject anything. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Casa. <laughs> like, unlike the PlayStation 4, I do not have a sensor here, so. Ouch. Ooh. 
Ooh, that crit. Oh, well, that was that was just regular damage. If that crit, that would have been GG. Possibly. Possibly. That's why we safety save. This really is not your day. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, we have we have Goss and he's a Bell Sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing that I didn't think of coming up with a donation incentive for because I didn't know if we would have to get it or not. Yeah, with the anti route, you end up using Totodile as the cut slave, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna lead this fight a little differently. On um, on good special, which is what we didn't have, uh, you would actually start with Water Gun, um, and it's a chance to two shots, and then it's a three shot chance against Ekans. Our special is poo. I stare at this number in disappointment. Our, our special is Poo, so I led with Rage because if we got hit, we could do the usual, hey, I'm just getting stronger and stronger because I'm getting angrier and angrier because I'm the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also slow, so Ekans is going to outspeed us. That's a good crit, Ooh, though. Nice. No. Uh, that happens, but that's why we bought Antidotes. 40%. Is it 40? I thought it was 30. Dang. Poison a lot of poison mean. moves are pretty high. Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> Exclamation point R U U D. <laughs> <laughs> so I am gonna use this spare potion we have. Get rid of the poison. Uh, the important thing though so far is if you noticed earlier, I equipped the bitter berry. Um, bitter berry will cure. Confusion the moment you get it. Um, if I could keep it for one more fight, that would be amazing. If not, that's fine. It's lasted a lot longer than it usually does for me. Usually I lose it on that first Zubat. Um, fun fact, with the way that status moves work, um, the AI actually has a 25% chance of the status failing. So something like Supersonic, which is 55%, is actually lower than that. So if you get hit by Supersonic, you're actually unlucky. I got hit by Supersonic every time when I practiced yesterday, so... That means it's not going to happen here, right? No, no That's way. That's how that works. No way. <laughs> Gotta get the bad luck out of the way with first. Exactly. So we have two Zubats here. So two extra chances of getting confused. Ooh, why? <laughs> <laughs> there, we're not confused. Yay! No! Oh. Oh. No! Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. That was a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> and we get to go through it again! Yes! Just wait till Clefairy. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your special is poo. Oh, it's it's certainly poo. <laughs> wait, so I know Pokemon have like a happiness stat. Mm -hmm. Do they dislike bitter berries? No, right? no, which is funny because they dislike bitter medicine, but yeah. the thing that has bitter directly in its name, they don't care about. I was going to ask about, ask about that. It's really bizarre, and Pokemon makes way no sense. Maybe that's the sole reason they changed berry names in Gen 3. Maybe. Well, this doesn't make any sense. Maybe but that would assume that they're thinking this. logically. Yeah, this, that's oh true. My God. <laughs> so this is also the game that has a crocodile turning into the Hulk for us. <laughs> that's, that does make sense. Was it this game that had the deck entry for Larvitar eating a mountain? I don't remember. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> one, yeah, of the Larv one of the deck entries says, like, eats enough rocks to consume a mountain a day. <laughs> or something like that. What a trooper. It's a hungry boy. Uh, that sucks. Where are the extra mountains coming from? It's mm. just one mountain somewhere that no one knows, and it just regrows. <laughs> it so just that's how mountains up. work. <laughs> okay. Okay, we take those. Yeah, normally that's a that's a four turn and not a five turn. Um, we only got the four turn because Goss decided to critical. Thanks, buddy. It's counting on you. It's gonna be really weird to finish talking to this and not talk to Kurt afterwards for the free ball. <laughs> After you save the well, you can turn around and talk to Kurt, and he'll give you a he'll give you a specialty ball called a lure ball. Um, in the crystal bingo races we do, we always turn around and grab it because we have instant text, and it's a lot faster because we're cheaters. <laughs> Kita cheetah. 
Oh, by, th by the way, uh, keys did get a full heal after uh, that last fight. Yeah, so we are back to full power points. We're back to full hit points. Well, I thought you meant like a full heal item, not like an actual... Nope. We did pick one of those up, too. Yeah, uh, so I thought you were talking about that. Okay, good. Miss. Yay. All right, so since we're on the Fraligator route, there is another part where we can deal with confusion, but uh, more often than not, you wouldn't even have the berry left over by then, so it's not really a significant thing. Um, it's uh, Polyrath later on that has Dynamic Punch, which 50% of the time, it confuses you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the few times a statement like that actually does make sense. <laughs> if there's anything Pokemon does to people who play it is that we don't believe percentages at all. We have no. just warped views on <laughs> luck and percentages. No. Statistics are a suggestion. <laughs> it's true. So I'll be really curious to see... This Caterpie's a range, I believe? Because my special's so bad? Okay. Mm. Promising. Okay. I believe in you. Oh, nice. man. Our Gauss. Shoot, what are my stats? <laughs> Take it. This whole time. <laughs> At this point in time, I don't even think it matters. It, it's just bad. I have to do bad to it about strats. Okay, not getting poison would be nice. Thanks, Ooh. buddy. <laughs> Um, now there is, I mentioned this earlier, there's a spinner up here, his name's Benny. Um, you normally want to avoid him because he wastes time, but uh, he'll give me a really valuable level up on Bayleaf, and because we have both bad speed and bad special, I'm actually just going to get him out of the way. You say, isn't Benny kind of infamous for, like, being annoying when you get hit by him? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because for the most part, he's just a ginormous waste of time. Um... The fight is pretty simple, but you need things to go right. Like, you Water Gun, you weaken the Kakuna, so you can try and lead Rage on Beedrill. With our special attack, I'm not going to lower the Kakuna's health enough, so I'm going to have to try and start on Beedrill. Beedrill's going to outspeed me, etc, etc. We're rooting for him to hit us a lot, because he has Fury Attack, and each time he hits Fury Attack, it's an extra Rage boost. <coughs> So I'm, I'm hoping for like a 3 or a 4 here. Okay. Sure. He can miss now if he wants, that'd be great. No. Oh. He did 2 all 3 times, that's not... Dear Diary. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Diary, today I was hit by Fury Attack. Let's go, Benny. We go ahead and save before this fight. Um, our attack is pretty decent, so I'm not too concerned about missing the ranges, but I, I still can, as S Grunt did yesterday. <laughs> um, Scyther also has a move that builds up. It's a Fury Cutter, I was mentioning it earlier. We're going to learn it immediately after this fight. But um, Scyther gets the benefit of being bug type using a bug type move. He gets the same type attack bonus from that, and uh, it really hurts. He usually starts around 5 damage, then he'll get to 10, then he'll get to like 20 plus, and we don't really have that much health. Now the absolute best thing that can happen for me here is Metapod leads Harden and then just tackles from there on. That's a good start. That's good. Just keep doing that. Perfect Metapod, that's nice. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> it happens once every 3,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, so, we should not have a problem with Scyther. What's Rage's accuracy? 100. 100. Okay. That would suck if it wasn't. No gentleness in this game either, so... Thank goodness. Alright, so he's starting his stacks. So it's stacks against stacks. 
All right, we we win. So that's that's good. And then somehow Gen One misses actually do exist. Surprise! <laughs> For those not familiar, in Pokemon Gen One, the accuracy is kind of weirdly programmed that, that even with moves that have 100 accuracy, there's a one in one, two fifty six yeah. chance of just missing. Yeah, because they forgot to add the or equal to <laughs> in their formulas. All right, Goss is getting big. Let's go, Goss. I'm counting on you. <laughs> We have a five dollar donation from It's Costa saying, "All right, Keith, I'm here to push anime up and make that sad face face bigger." <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Good luck. And as for that comment about my PS4, I'll see you after the run. <laughs> from Casa. <laughs> from Casa. <laughs> Not to take my earrings out after this. <laughs> it's gonna get real, Casa. I didn't know that's what the wrestling themes were <laughs> referring to. <laughs> so, just an update on that polywag and uh, your. Name bidding war. Uh, Pole Champ is currently in the lead at $190, which is beating anime at 132. Good, good. And Jack is not far behind at 120. So, this fight come upcoming, I think it's like one of his favorite fights, right? Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Absolute favorite. I had to double check to make sure I didn't teach over the wrong move because th this is where it starts to really change compared to if I had Entei. So, Rival 2, like mentioned before, is one of the hardest fights in the game. Um, he has a Ghastly that has Lick, and Lick has a 30% chance to paralyze. We do have a paralyzed Cure Berry, but it's kind of obnoxious to deal with that. Um, it also has Hypnosis, which is annoying. That's what we have the full heal for. Um, his Bay Leaf is super duper scary. It has a 1 in 4 chance of critical with Razor Leaf. And uh, especially with our stats, a critical Razor Leaf is really, really, really bad. That's rude. Okay, we didn't get paralyzed at least, so we get to keep our berry. Is there a point in which a critical Razor Leaf is good? No. No, never. So what we have to do is we have to build up Fury Cutter, which it has a 5% chance to miss. Okay, Poison Powder is actually fine. That's not fine. Ooh. Do you keep the stack if it misses? No. no. Oh. We're just going to start over <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm not even going to see what that does. That was no bueno. So you're saying anime one? Anime one. <laughs> you shush! <laughs> it's merely a setback. I'm, I'm giving anime false hope. 1-1 one, one, anime versus keys. Are you coming for the belt now? Oh, I will be. <laughs> I'm sure Gunner's streaming right now. Just like, out of nowhere, he's just like, yes, yes. <laughs> Alright, so that's what we have the berry for. Kind of annoying, but whatever. No big deal. Just don't miss this time. Okay. 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 That's fine. Don't crit. Owie. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Alright, alright, it's fine. It's fine. Poison. It's fine. It's fine. Because for whatever reason, Gen 1 and Gen 2 don't apply the poison damage if you knock out the Pokemon. Ooh. So, I get to heal now. And barring something horribly wrong happening, I think we win. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. No! Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... Hmm. What was that about horribly wrong? So, you see... No, see, it's fine. It's fine. We, we got this. This fight's so atrocious. No. Confused no more. No. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We made it. Anime was defeated. <laughs> For now. For now. You, you only, but you only beat anime because anime is Pokemon for a week. Hey. 
You know, now that I think about it, anime as a rival name actually makes sense because of his character development and how, like, his Pokemon get stronger because he starts to actually love them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean you'll eventually love anime? No. <laughs> <laughs> what a silly comment you just made. <laughs> Hi, we're taking applications for two new couch commentators. <laughs> You just need to dislike anime and you're qualified. You. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we have some volunteers in the crowd. I just need to like actually flip over the couch. <laughs> Qua. Oh, this is a good time for donations. I was just about to <laughs> hop in. We have a $10 anonymous donation that just says plushies! So, again, guys, it's a $5 donation during either this or Lightning Returns. You have a chance at winning either the Entei or Totodial plushies. We have a $10 donation from my fourth duck saying, Am I late? Put this towards Polk Champ. Not late. There's still time to defeat the evil. <laughs> <laughs> we have $20 from Daniel Field saying, Keep at it. Thanks. There's also a smiley face emoticon at the end of that, by the way, so... I too shall smile. <laughs> where, where, where's that humble sign? <laughs> have, yeah, where's the humble sign? <laughs> we have $5 from Wolf Fang saying, My wish is that Pokemon are real so that I can catch my own Pikachu. And anime. No. <laughs> there, is, there is this app called Pokemon Go. There's a $5 donation from Otter and Wyvern saying, Totodile is my little sister's favorite Pokemon. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Now see, this is something I'm not used to doing, so Entei Route, you skip this entirely. You actually get one less repel as well. Um, Totodile really, really relies on using Headbutt if it's just Totodile, though. So we just go to this stranger with green hair. No big deal. He gave us something literally complete opposite of what our parents told us to do, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for Alligator's one of those poor Pokémon in the first couple gens before Physical Special started getting split up is... It's a water type, which is usually a special type with really good attack and pretty piss poor uh, special attack. So we're going to be looking for pretty good physical moves to round out its moveset as opposed to, you know, the likes of, you know, typical water moves. Which is why having such bad special is such a huge deal as well. Because you need as much edge as you can get. I'm right here. <laughs> no. <laughs> you right. So soon we're going to get the bike and move at slightly faster speeds. Kind of nice. It's not nearly as nice as the modern day Pokemon bike. That's a really awkward place for that. It's, it's not as nice as the modern day bikes. It's a little slower, but uh, it's faster than this. This is like a crawl. Well, at least you're not speedrunning Path of Radiance tomorrow. No, but I have to voice act for you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $10 donation from Wadapop saying, Gotta get in for those plushies. The plushies do look pretty dope. So something introduced to Gen 2, which is kind of nice, is you can hop on your bicycle here. I forgot to teach Headbutt, but that's totally okay. I'll do that in a sec. Um, you, can, uh, you can use Select to register items in your key items, which is really, really nice. So I don't have to go to the menu constantly to get on my bicycle and go fast. So this is uh, affectionately referred to as Spinner Hell, because there are three different spinners here that we have to avoid. It's a little obnoxious. Uh, what am I teaching you over? We have a $75 donation from Katarina saying, Crystal was my first Pokemon game. I finally beat 100%. Though I did play Red, I always loved Crystal more as the first game I could be a girl. I want to get set ahead of... Uh, if only to see the girl I put myself up into first. Rhinoa from Final Fantasy VIII. Thank you, and let's keep getting more donations. So. so what I'm doing right here is I'm doing something called Double Deposit. So when you deposit a Pokemon, it gets fully healed and whatnot. Um, and since I have to deposit the egg anyway, it just it's a really convenient time to get my health up. What the heck? <laughs> I thought I was good at movement, but then I gave myself a concussion. Ow. We have a $10 donation from Anime that's just a frowny face. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Keys, you made anime sad. Good. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
You again. It's been following <laughs> us this whole time. Holographic hoot hoot again. <laughs> We have $100 from Katarina saying, I totally messed up my first donation, so I'm trying this over again. I wanted to make sure that people like me, those with mental health issues, are getting the help they need and have a bit of happiness through helping others again. And having my name put onto my favorite girl from my favorite game. There's like an annoying pseudo wudo in the way, so Keith has to kind of make a detour to get the squirt bottle. I think that's it. Yeah, you, you can't get the squirt bottle until you beat Whitney, so... Just... Seems like unnecessary, like, plot restriction on top of plot restriction. That spinner. was rude. <laughs> spinner hell, everyone. This is like the worst spinner to spin on you, too. Just yeah, he's got four. Four Voltorb. This is ugly. What do I even do with MC? Level two Voltorb. Oh, no. Aha! I remembered, scratch all, but one. We did it. I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> so good at video games. He's so good at video games. Um, spinners do kind of give you a little bit of a benefit because you get extra money and you get extra experience and stuff. And sometimes the extra experience helps you reach uh, certain damage thresholds. Um, it's not a bad thing that... I wasn't supposed to water gun. It's not a bad thing that uh, we're getting extra experience with this particular Totodile, but uh, it is a little slow. Especially since, as mentioned, this guy has four Voltorbs. Really creative. He's a juggler, it makes sense. I suppose. So he juggles his Voltorbs? Yeah. Those are four Voltorbs. Well, I don't Voltorbs know if they explode like if like, you hit though, them. Or not, it's electrodes. So it's like kind of dangerous, isn't it? Maybe that's why it works. That was after two screeches. He only did like six damage. What a guy. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully the other one is nice. So, you see me pulling up the menu like that, um, whenever I see them in a direction that I would prefer to see them in. Um, it only gives you like a frame of buffer. It, it's not significantly helpful, but it does make me feel a little better. Um, because of the combination of spinners we hit and the combination of my stats, I'm actually doing this a little early. Um, this is something that you typically do later on, but uh, the extra experience and the the PowerPoint management of your moves really aligns with doing this early. We have $5 from Lester, I sing. Shout out to my boy Jay Moda in the crowd, who's gonna run Tales of Symphonia later. He can decide where the money goes. I expect it to be best girl Rain at Flanoir. Oh, there he is. We also have $5 from Macho Jump. Macho, oh my gosh. <laughs> Macho Ooh. Drum Randy Bordas saying, Hey, Keyzeron, good luck on the run. If you're at Limit Break Mania 2020, I will 100% show up as Macho Man Randy Savage. Let's make this a classic right up there with Taker Michaels. Either one, take your pick. Oh, yeah. You hear that, Volagin? There's money to be had. <laughs> <laughs> Donation goes to whatever Keyzeron wants. A better Tota <laughs> <laughs> Did you know if you know your tap advantages, you'll do better in battle? No, I didn't know that. I'm oh. glad he's teaching us this. I mean, technically right now you do have a better Totodile. It's called Croc and Aw. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I guess. So, water versus electric. What wins? Water, of course. Good choice. See? He drowns. <laughs> Thanks, Pokemon. I really dislike Croc and Aw's design. We were talking about this Yeah, yesterday. it'll be fine like if it's... not for the weird caveman diaper thing. I hear, I hear some what's in the crowd. Maybe I should show the sprite off real quick. <laughs> it's it's pretty bad, though. Because Totodile's kind of cute, I suppose. What about Thraligator? Thraligator's cool. But Croconaw. It's an awkward teenage phase. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to count on my couch to remember E2. Okay. Remember that for the rest of the run, thank you. So yep. Elite Four except two. Yes. <laughs> Imagine half of them are gone. Karen and Bruno got fired. <laughs> There's a five dollar donation from Smiley Face. What's better, anime or anamorphs? <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> you know in your heart what the answer is. Fun fact about this gym. Did you know that Whitney's gym, or Clefairy's gym is shaped like a Whitney? I messed up the joke. Uh, you ruined the joke. <laughs> First that donation and then the joke. I'm doing? sorry. Everything's falling apart. <laughs> All right, so uh, Headbutt has a 30% chance to flinch, something we haven't seen yet. Just, just letting you know, game. That'd be, that'd be great. So everybody remembers Whitney for her milk. <coughs> oh god, excuse me. <laughs> I'm allergic to this coated out. <laughs> I'll see. I don't need to heal. The, uh, the Clefairy is the real danger here. Yeah, we have to set up um, Fury Cutter stacks here, and um, Clefairy has Metronome, and Metronome's anything. So we've seen some interesting combinations. We've seen Explosion, which boom, kills you. Boom, 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 um, boom, boom. There was one time where I got Sandstorm into Leech Seed, and I watched as my Totodile just slowly died, and I couldn't do anything about it. Also, it looks like it's flipping me off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite I've ever seen was Sacred Fire into Burn. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. Would you <laughs> shut up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those not familiar, burn is we're, very bad because it half your physical attack. <laughs> so we're taking new applications for a host. <laughs> Everyone's banned. <laughs> this is horrible. As we were saying, <laughs> there are particular combinations you don't want to see. That happened to be one of them. <laughs> All right, I'm Jay Hobbs here. I'm your new host because we got rid of the one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll read donations later. <laughs> I gotta move it. I would, I would actually prefer to see Mimic. Um, double slaps and no. Oh, come on. I don't want to get knocked too low because if I do, then the AI is gonna be like, "Hey, stomp from Mill Tank kills, so you stand no chance." Why? Oh, no. Okay, that's 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 fine. That's fine. Nighttime, it heals less. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So hopefully we get rollout. If we get stomp and then we get flinched, then we're doomed. Um, okay, that's good. I need to not miss. I'm counting on you, buddy. Ooh, that's what I'm nice. talking yeah. about. So because of the extra levels we got and everything, um, the chances of that one shot were vastly increased. Um, our attack really isn't that bad, but... Wee, wee. I made her cry. Keep the thumb. She supports anime. <laughs> <laughs> I have a ten dollar donation from Gula274 saying, By God, you could feel his rage as he brutally snapped that poor critter in half. That crocodile's angrier than a snake in a belt factory. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars to the Robo Colored Custom Robo being Keys' favorite among white, red, blue, yellow, and green. Other five to Ghoul's Choice. Unless it's animated to anything anime related, in which case it goes to the next unmet incentive. Right, what, white, red, blue. White, red, blue, yellow, green. Mm. I heard the first three colors. I just thought of America. Yeah, <laughs> why can't we just combine all of those? Uh, I, I want to go with blue, actually. Blue's neat. Also, it was the first color I saw when the screen loaded, so... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, blue is how I feel right now, yeah. <laughs> this, this poor creature. So, a quick update on the Polywag naming incentive. Right now, anime is still losing. Good. <laughs> uh, Polk Champ is winning with $190. Anime is at $142. Jack is at $120. Beefsteak is at $80. Blame Matic is at $50. Gumi is at $50. And your boy is at $5. Did you, did you donate to Gumi? No. <laughs> there it is. I was trying to find where my Mart was. We had a $15 donation from Windrider Shiva saying, Total Dial is my favorite starter. I believe in you, Goss. Do the thing. Best of luck on the run and may the RNG be in your favor. It sure did a thing. It wasn't a good thing, but... So the TM that Keys just grabbed was Ice Punch. It's going to be good for a decent chunk of fights coming up. Including Rival. We no longer have to sit through and Fury Cutter the Bailey if we can just punch it. Oops. It deserves it. 
So my shopping's a little different here based on both stats and the fact that we fought some extra trainers. One on purpose, the rest not so much, but... What the heck? I was about to say. <laughs> you never know when something on the card's gonna show up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I gotta be prepared. Like I said, it, it, it's been a while since for Alligator. You know, I just realized something. I bought a Polka Doll, but I did this manipulation already. Let's, let's, let's see if I actually won the Master Ball or not. Everyone in the room has to donate $50 if I win it. <laughs> it's all going to Gumi. Oh look, I won a Master Ball. What are the chances? <laughs> let's go, Nami. <laughs> so... I bought the polka doll anyway because I completely forgot about this to be honest. But um, I can actually skip the Poliwag Androtini and go with the Gyarados instead, so we can have a shiny on top of everything else. And that's actually in um, uh, I'd say about like 20 minutes, 20 30 minutes. So. So plenty of time for anime to still win then. Unfortunately, we don't speak of such a dark timeline. <laughs> We have a $50 donation from the Mr. Underscore Shasta saying, Hi, everyone. Excited to chill out and watch some comfy as heck RPG speedruns all week. Shoutouts to Keyzeron TM of One Baller Brand TM fame. The stacked as Hell Couch and Pokemon Crystal, my favorite Pokemon game growing up. Also, this goes towards naming Poliwag or Drutini Gumi. Good luck, everyone. Mm, we found the culprit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it was never you at all. No. Nice I, haven't pulled out, I haven't pulled out my phone. If it was Alta, Gumi would be winning. Let's face it. <laughs> ah, you're right. Okay, so that trainer just changed sprites. I don't, know if, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed that fast enough, but... No. Someone make a Twitch clip. <laughs> so this is actually... I'm not used to doing Kimono Girls so early now. Uh... Yeah, so with the Entei route, you go to Burn Tower first and release the beast as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> as a reminder, you have a $5 donation from Lily Michiru saying, Don't forget the Kimono Girls, you fool. With a heart at the end. <laughs> this will work. Close enough. I tried. This is really uncomfortable. <laughs> nice flinch. Yeah. I was actually supposed to PC heal after, not before. That was that was an Entei thing I just did. So who wants to talk to Bill for a minute? Because I might need to heal. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> So a good enough Totodile could actually outspeed or speed tie this Espeon. We are we are not among that select group, so oh, that's not oh, good. Oh, no. that's bad. Oh, mm. I, oh. I was mm. waiting for that. <laughs> this is happening. Confusion, sand attack. So who wants flinch. to talk to Bill after this? <laughs> <laughs> I hear Bill's a nice guy. Oh. Uh, the defense lower on mm. top of that. Go get him, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get out of there. It's not safe. Goodness gracious. Lots of tail whips. That confusion was 10%, by the way. <laughs> and then it's 50-50 to hit yourself or not hit yourself. All right, Bellsprout, you tried. Try this again. All right, that's better. Do that again. Pretty please. Okay, that, that's fine too. We did it, go team. <laughs> that's not even the hardest one. Proof that EVs are awesome. So we got Umbreon next, then Vaporeon, and then Jolteon. I'm scared, so I'm gonna save before Jolteon. Because the last time I ran Crystal in a marathon setting, I was like, oh yeah, if you get crit by Jolteon, you die, but you know, that's fine, because we're not going to get crit, and I immediately <laughs> got crit. Okay, so this run has been very boring, hasn't it? Hey, hey, <laughs> Wait. shush, don't curse me. Oh my 
my goodness. Where's the flinches? I know! That works. Stone and all can't get a flinch, but you can get confused into hit yourself twice. That's, uh... Mm -hmm. If you ever wonder why we question statistics, that's <laughs> one of many reasons. What's the chance on a flinch on a headbutt again? 30%. 30, yeah. Hey, Keys, you're a cute trainer. Thanks. I try. Hey, look, it's Water Umbreon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I only have three headbutts. Mm. Mm. Nice, nice flinch. Mm. Uh, how much damage does this actually do? Okay, well, that's, that's good. <laughs> we flinched the other move! <laughs> so that's... what's Bite's chances of flinch? What the? <laughs> it's a... 30%? It's also 30, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. All right, so I only had to bite because, like I had mentioned, I did my PC heal a little early. I was a little quick to the trigger. So we're going to talk to our, our buddy Bill after this. I didn't save. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, the only way you're going to die is to be a crit, right? Yeah, so it's, not it's gonna happen, fine. Right? It's fine. <laughs> Good thing it doesn't have static. Please don't. I, I was waiting for the paralyzed to show up there into fully paralyzed. <laughs> Listen, you. That's what. Like a I thought we removed you from hosting. <laughs> Where's Hobbs? <laughs> I want Hobbs back. Judge. <laughs> All right, so we have to do this for plot reasons, but it's also really valuable because this guy gives us Surf. Surf's going to be our strongest water move that we're going to use, and it's really powerful early, too. We're looking at 95 base plus the same type attack bonus. So it's, it's our strongest move for quite some time. Never talked about same type attack bonus. Kind of self-explanatory. If you use a move, an attack move that's the same type as your Pokemon, the damage is increased by plus 50%. Hi, Bill. Hi, so, Bill. So we have about a minute for donations. <laughs> All right, we have $5 from Odessian saying, just donating to support a good cause. We have $10 from James63 saying, I love Pokemon Crystal, so I'm happy to see this run. Good luck, all runners. How did they donate for those plushies? Sending love from the UK. We have $5 from Pixelax Alt saying, Hey, Keys, just had to donate during your run. Let's have one question for you. Is Burn Paralyzed Poison Pseudo Widow on the card? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck on the run, and this goes towards naming the Poliwag slash Dratini Blame Medic, although it's now going to be a Gyarados, apparently. Yeah, I, I lied to all of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a filthy liar. We have an anonymous $10 donation saying, Currently watching with my own Jolteon plushie sitting on my lap, so I figured I'd try and win him a friend. Aww. I'm rooting for you. That would have been a lot better if that Jolteon had actually crit you. I would have been upset, and I would not be rooting for him. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $5 donation from 13 Lightning saying, Pokemon Crystal is the best Pokemon game. Changed my mind. We have a $5 donation from RPD234 saying, I'm not sorry to inform you of this keys run, but as long as there's memes, there will always be anime. Well, retiring memebig.net. <laughs> so how about memebig.net? You can change it to animebig.net. <laughs> no. I think he's going to prefer banime.net. Banime.net. <laughs> here's $10 from Cauldron saying, here's $10 for Runner's Choice, as long as Runner's Choice is anime for Polywag's name. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can we refund donations? <laughs> <laughs> so, a quick update on that video, actually. Anime is winning again. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Anime is now has $247 to pull champs 190. Jack is sitting there with 120. Beefsteak at 80. Blame Medic at 55. Gumi at 50. And your boy at 5. I can't wait for Blame Medic to get sniped. Everyone in my chat is banned if anime <laughs> wins. <laughs> okay, good. I mean, curse is kind of bad because we take the damage, but if we don't faint the Pokemon, then we don't take the damage. And as you can see, like, Surf's already put it in work. See, water is effective against electric. 
It is kind of insane that they give you Surf this early in the game, like before the fourth gym. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. You, Bell Sprout, <laughs> come out again. <laughs> the joy of having bad stats. Oh, oh wow. Aww. Is Bayleaf's out for revenge? I no guess. It's, it's angry. Bayleaf. Shush. <laughs> All right, that's why I picked this up. We, we knew it was going to be a struggle when we knew that the stats weren't that good, but we're going to make it happen. Why? <laughs> <laughs> It's a scary Spiro. Why? Why? <laughs> Kenya the hero. That's actually pre pretty good This is damage. not good. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we did it. Go team. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was awful. Kenya OP. See? Easy. We didn't have to worry about anything. I forgot how bad this route actually was. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Nice crit. <laughs> I, I, that might have been needed, actually. I don't even know. Anime was defeated. Again. <laughs> I heard one clap. <laughs> this crowd makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Boo. I found the culprit for the uh, why anime is winning the Polywag name, by the way. We have an anonymous $100 donation that says, Donate to anime because why not? <laughs> They're all the same. What kind of randomizer? <laughs> <laughs> See, normally, I'd be like, let's go get Entei right now, but... What the heck? They're so far down. So if we don't escape rope here, we have to go talk to you scene on our way out, and without instant text that we have for bingos, it's pretty pretty big difference. Also, we already wasted our time talking to Bill. I don't need to waste any more yeah, time. Yeah, that's <laughs> very true. So this fight makes me a little sad. If I had a slightly better Totodile, we could ice punch everything. Um, avoiding the super effective text and saving time. However, we don't have said Totodile, so I have to bite everything. Now, the visual image of a crocodile biting a ghost is hilarious on its own, but I think it's like an extra six seconds in this fight. Like, it's essentially like almost a full turn because of text alone. So th this gym's pretty boring until we get to Morty, so. We have a $50 anonymous donation saying, Hey, keys are on. I saw that awesome Master Ball win, so here's my $50. Of hey. course, you didn't say where it had to go, so I'm putting it towards no. anime. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Keep up the good run, and good luck to all the other runners, too. I hate the world. <laughs> we have a $25 donation from Carlito NSP saying, Donating because I just joined the stream and was saddened to see that Entei Root didn't win. In retaliation, I want to name Poliwag or Dratini to Entei. A permanent reminder of previous failures. <laughs> now here's something that uh, a lot of us that play the game already know, but like a lot of casual players might not know. There's a secret path here, so we can skip that trainer. It's pretty neat. She has two haunters, I think, so it's not a terrible fight, but obviously you want to fight as little as you want, as little as you can. Sage Jeffrey Hobbs. <laughs> <coughs> we have a $15 donation from Hercules Bench Press saying, Hi, Keys, Oro, and Alta. Good luck on the run and commentary and having good times. Hi, Herc. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, who cares about that Kirby guy? Hi, Kirby. <laughs> Hashtag Banime with a winky face. Wait, how's he donating? Shouldn't he be doing his match right now? It's like at 7 Eastern, I think. Oh. So. That's right now. Oh. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's, it's 5 Mountain. Herc, get busy. Herc, beat fire. Thanks. 
We had a $15 donation from Lavkian saying, So stoked to see Dragon Quest so well represented this year. Put this towards naming the Dragon Quest Eight Hero Pop Champ. No. Actually, no, that's good. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Morty's going to be interesting because we did lose our Paralyzed Cure Berry. So hopefully that goes well. We're definitely healing beforehand, though. Hey, it's your face. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Repel? Yeah, it, oh, it'll okay. last through throughout the grass. Okay. And since I'm in the menu anyway. Yep. I think my health is totally fine, but we'll see. That's why we have saves. I don't I don't want to use all my healing items already, but man, this has been a journey. Cast form. <laughs> <laughs> that cast form was so good. That because we don't have the Paralyzed Cure Berry, I have to set up on the Haunter instead of the Ghastly, which isn't as scary, but it can be at the same time. I'm really good at explaining this, I know, but... So Ghastly has Lick, it has Curse, it has... I can't remember what else, but... Because of that, though, well, that's really bad. Mm. Yeah, it's not winnable from there. I'll just set up on the Ghastly anyway. We do have full heals, or at least one. We should have enough. We have a five dollar donation from Hercules Bench Press saying, "Hi Kirby, I love you so much. I wanted to make sure you got your own donation comment." <laughs> With a heart at the end, so you know he's sincere. Is he really? I think we need another $5 donation to confirm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how about Herc? <laughs> Get on it, buddy. God, that Haunter was so mean. Curse is really, really bad. Curses. 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 <laughs> Spite's good. If you do that again, I'll be super happy. That, that's fine, we're set up. So, uh, we've been really good at flinching with Bite, so I'm really hoping that tradition continues here, because flinching the Gengar is really, really good. Be a pal, friend. Your friend, guy. No. Yes, nice. we did it. Sweet. Heck yeah. All right, second try. That's not, that's not terrible for this kind of toad at all. We almost don't have to look at Croconaw anymore. Soon. Yeah, one benefit of picking Totodile over any of the other starters. Um, even from a casual standpoint, is you get to your final stage a lot quicker. So Totodile takes forever to get to its second stage, or first stage, or however you want to define it. Um, it gets to level 18 before it turns to Croconaw, but it only needs to get to level 30 to turn into Feraligatr, which is super duper handy.
Alex. <laughs> Sorry about that, kind of dying a little bit. <laughs> Told you I was allergic to this. <laughs> well, I mean, you're fighting anime, and you're allergic to anime. That's true. Plus, I probably haven't been paying attention enough to stay hydrated, bot, so... <laughs> <laughs> Rizu gave me some cough drops, if you want one. <laughs> I might take you up on that. We have a $5 donation from Hercules Bench Press saying, Hashtag confirmed. I have to go beat fire now. <laughs> <laughs> the water spilt all over me, too. This is a dark timeline. <laughs> Your crocodile got a little too excited to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the Totodile in the anime would definitely do that. I believe it. I think Another it's crazy. reason to ban it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the uh, what's the update on the bid war so far? Give me one moment to get a quick refresh there. Scrolling way faster than I am. I'm sorry. So, still anime is winning with $297. Oh. With Pole Champ behind at 205 And Jack is at 120 This tickle on my throat's gonna stay if anime wins. <laughs> we have a $5 donation from JD Man saying Gen 2 is always my favorite Pokemon. Gen. Always love to see runs of those games. Also, got to at least try and get those plushies. Put this towards Polk Champ for the Gyarados because ban anime. Thank you. We have a $10 donation from Agro Craig saying, Hey Keys, just want to let you know that as of now, www.banime.club redirects to the RPG Limit Break website. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> What's the marathon ends that'll probably redirect to your stream? Gotta keep the brand strong. Oh, and let's fight the Black Knight. Oh, that's my incentive. Oh, hey. It yeah. is. Yeah. For your run that is tomorrow. Yeah. That's exciting. Your run of the video game Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Very, very fast paced. <laughs> oh, we're gonna Ooh. evolve early. That's nice. Normally, you use a rare candy to evolve early, even though you're wasting some experience that way. So we're gonna see the Croconaw Sprite evolve, right? Yep. Yes. The beautiful, beautiful Croconaw yeah, Sprite. Yeah, you can finally see the the Caveman Croconaw that I said that I would show off like a long time ago. I mean, we're, we're, you we're gonna lying. show it off here anyway, so. Why don't you ever flinch? I mean, it flinched the Noctowl, I guess, for what that's worth. All right, Goss, you're big and strong now. I'm proud of you. No longer a caveman. See? <laughs> He's so big and strong now. Okay, oh, there's a spinner coming up. Uh, his name's Ernest, and he's annoying. So, we just hope we don't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just to rub it in a little bit. <laughs> well, he also stuck, right? Mm -hmm. So you were just poking him a few times to make mm -hmm. sure. Just wanted to make sure that everything was okay. So what causes spinners to get stuck in this? Um, do, do, we, do we have any idea, or do they just... Some random bug happen? I don't remember specifically the reason. Um, I think it's just a case of like when it's calling for directions, it calls the same one and it gets confused. So it's stuck for a few seconds. We have a $5 donation from Luke Arena saying, Hey guys, I've been watching RPG Limit Break for a few years now, but it's the first time I managed to watch it in its entirety. Not only is this schedule this year filled with a lot of games from my childhood, but the cause is especially dear to me as I've been struggling with anxiety disorder and depression for years now. Nami's work is a blessing, and I honestly wish we had something like that in my, in, in my country. Even though I can't donate much, I want to at least help a little because there's so many people fighting alone out there who need love and support. Thanks for everything you do. Good luck to all the runners, and keep up the great work.
Bye, Headbutt. You're very Bye, useful headbutt. for your flinch chances. Yeah, thanks, buddy. The one flinch we got from it when we used it like 40 times. <laughs> <laughs> That's value. That's value. Yeah, Strength is, pre is a pretty nice move. It has 80 power compared to Headbutt 70, I think. Yeah. But mm -hmm. the, the downside is that it doesn't flinch, so... Who needs flinches when you're knocking things out? <laughs> we have a $10 donation from Chucky e. Cho saying, Man, am I hyped for RPG Mania 2020. This is my first time watching live and I love it so far. Go Kizaron. Put half my money towards naming Polywag Gumi and the other half towards getting Kirby some cough medicine. Good luck on the rest of the run, Keys. I'm telling you, Bulligen, there's money to be had. <laughs> is Bulligen here? No. That's a lot of ouch. I think if you say Villagen's name enough times, you'll eventually show Villagen, up. Villagen, 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 Villagen. Okay, hopefully we don't get Thunder Punched. I don't know if it would actually kill. But I do need to heal. kind of funny, because, like, Hitmachan has, like, all the three punches, but its special attack is, like, terrible, I yeah. remember, so. Mm -hmm. If you burn me, I swear by all that is holy. Thank you. <laughs> what a nice guy. It's not a Clefairy, so. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that again. <laughs> You're welcome. I appreciate you, ghoul. I think the real dream there would have been Ice Punch into Freeze. Oh, please, no. That happened to uh, that happened to an old Pokemon runner. His name was a uh, Five Up a Man, and um, he was actually significantly ahead of world record at the time. And then he got frozen for about a minute and a half or two. Does Fire Punch break freeze in this gen too? Yeah, if you're hit by a fire move and you're frozen, you defrost. I know like moves like Flame Wheel defrost yourself, but I don't know if that's the case in this game. Uh, it is, yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay. Nice crit. Not even necessary. I don't think. I don't know. These stats are bad. I'm never gonna shut up about it. This uh, super duper difficult boulder puzzle to solve. We hey. did it! Hey, hey, <laughs> I had trouble with it when I was little. <laughs> Shame on you. So, the gym leader fight after this um, is actually a little concerning because Dynamic Punch, if it hits, it always confuses. It's a 50% hit chance, but. Um, he, he has multiple ways to try and set it up, too. He could put you to sleep. He can uh, use Mind Reader, which makes it 100% the next turn. And since our attack isn't that great, it is a little concerning because he might be a 3-shot instead of a 2-shot. Hopefully not. I did buy an extra X attack, though, so I can use that if I want to. It really just depends on what Primeape does to us. Not this Primeape, but another one. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead, heal, and save, just in case. Is his name actually long? Yes. Interesting. So I love how I have that spare repel, because I forgot to use one earlier. Chuck's a strong boy. <laughs> this? I think that's the pose. <laughs> He's intimidating. But none of his Pokemon have to intimidate. Hush you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I will use the second X attack then. So we should be fine. But every time I say that. Mm. 
We'll see. Okay, we're, we're totally fine. Got the extra level. Goss is a baller. Easy. Easy fight. Easy. We got it. So, Keys, about how long do we have until that Gyarados? I was actually just about to say we got, like, a minute or two. Well, you might be happy to hear that some current news I got for you now. Right now, currently winning that naming incentive is Pulp Champ. Anime is losing. Good. That is $305 to $302. Good. Wow, <laughs> that's really close. No. Oh. So we got what? Maybe like a couple minutes to get those in now? Yep. No. No anime comeback. Donate for anime. Do not do such a thing. <laughs> So conveniently, after we beat Chuck's gym, his wife gives us the HM for fly, which is super duper handy because I don't want to surf back because that's really slow. And we also get the secret potion for the sick Amphi. Kirby and I could use some secret potion right now too, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I have a feeling that I got Keith a little sick. <laughs> <coughs> so this is my way of ruining RPG Limit Break. I think the best part about this is he's still menuing with one hand while he's coughing. <laughs> I'm a baller! This is actually speed tech. So where's that humble sign? <laughs> Hi. I hate you, Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> I did forget I had to equal with me. We just had an interview about how I'm doing better health-wise. <laughs> like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> it's okay. Your keys are on. You survive everything. I don't know about that. I'm not sure you can survive this Toto dial. <laughs> <laughs> I have never hit that guy. Shout out to Gunner Maniac who hits him all the time. <laughs> See, I read Gyarados is like 30 seconds from now. We have a $100 donation no. from Garrett144 <laughs> that just says, hold on, boo anime. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, Gyarados. Gyara Gyasha. Yeah. The cry makes so much sense. Oh my, oh my god, god, a shiny! shiny. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances? 1 in 8,156. I was going to say 1 in 1, but... <laughs> we did it. Now I have a polka doll in my inventory for no reason. All right, so what is what is the final I, winner? I'm doing one last refresh just in case. Today, anime wins. <laughs> no! <laughs> With a grand total of three hundred and forty-two dollars. Uh, wait, are we sure about that? I <laughs> yep. Did that not go through in time? You let me down. Was it also donate? Uh, I did a refresh right as he got to it, so it must not have gotten through if he did something. Mm, I demand a recount. <laughs> <laughs> There's always the nickname changer. <laughs> Second was Polk Champ with $325. This is why we should hate anime. I see the donation now. Mm. I, I, I sent that in like a minute ago. <laughs> Was it Goomy? Yeah. <laughs> How much was it? It's $560. Oh, God. <laughs> the right, best part so is, anime actually <coughs> had a huge jump itself. It's actually at $497 right now. So here, here's what we'll do. So everyone wins. It's anime <laughs> for now. And then when I have to go back to Goldenrod, because I have to, we'll change it to Goomy. Huh? huh? That's fair. It's <laughs> fair for everyone, right? Unless... Goomy! <laughs> no! No boo! <laughs> 
We'll check again at Goldenrod and see where it's at. I'll, I'll put it that way. So just leave the, just leave the bit we're open. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, you. Alec, the staff member approves. I disapprove of the staff member's approval. <laughs> Anarchy, burn it down. <laughs> Oh, I take it back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is the part of the run that no matter which Pokemon you're using, whether it's Feraligate or whether it's Entei, it's just kind of resident sleeper. So, um... You mean boring? No, we don't say boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun fact about the whole boring thing. So, I drove here from uh, Washington State, and I remember complaining that the drive was boring. And not too long after I said the drive was boring, there was a tornado warning, there was a hailstorm, and there's a lot of bad things that happen. So never say things are boring, because something will prove otherwise. <laughs> You're very happy to have Keith here healthy and alive. I look forward to your boring run, Kirby. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be a miracle. Oh my gosh. All right, so the Gyarados naming incentive has been officially reopened. It was closed for just a little bit, so if you had any issues getting a donation in to either make anime win or not, uh, that's reopened. We have an anonymous $125 donation that says, because anime, with an exclamation point, there's a $15 donation from Cauldron saying, anime needs to win. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how anime jumped like $125 between refreshes at the very end as well. I think if anime stays in the lead, you need to change it from anime with question marks to anime with exclamation points. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I agree to these terms. So, so when you go back, when you get back to Golden Rod, anime, anime, the anime. <laughs> when you get back to Golden Rod, not too long. Not too long. Yeah, think of it like an anime season. This is the first season where I can't believe it's anime, <laughs> and then the second season starts and it's anime. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> These are the filler episodes. <laughs> yeah, feel, feel free to just talk about every single donation known to man. There's uh, nothing got... interesting here. <laughs> All right, we have $25 that says anime with a question mark at the end. Anime? Mm -hmm. anime? We have a five dollar donation that just says Jinx Cry, which I, I think he's on might be able to fill us in. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was so thunderous it knocked Totodile off the couch. <laughs> we have a five dollar donation from Aspernari saying Vote, voting for Kizaron's favorite anime, Revolutionary Excellent. Girl Utena. What? Who? <laughs> Is that even calling? Are those real words? <laughs> I feel like I just heard like a foreign language. <laughs> <laughs> we have five dollars from Ravine saying, "Here's five more dollars for Mean Big." When I mean big, I mean, well, what am I supposed to mean about now? Apparently, it's anime. But uh, <laughs> how about Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon cutscene percent? Anyway, hugs for Kizaron because I forget, forgot my first donation. Donation to Kizaron's choice as long as it isn't towards naming something. I mean, what name would I possibly give something? Gumi. <laughs> it wouldn't be Banime, no way. <laughs> $10 from PX Micaiah saying, Hey guys, long time viewer, first time donator. Put half of the story. Can we get a fact check on that? <laughs> <laughs> Put half of the donation towards the Gunavel's post run fight and the other half on aiming Poliwag. Pull, just kidding. Put it on anime. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's PX we're talking about. I know. I know. I shouldn't have asked. So, yeah, as mentioned, this is a pretty boring part because, as you can see, I'm vastly over leveled and overpowered compared to everything else I'm facing. There is a range or two here, but um, other than that, everything dies in one hit. Like, I, I think it was intended to go here first before we took care of Olivine and stuff like that, but I did not do such a thing. Non-linearity.
So the gimmick here is there's two trainers that I have to fight and talk to them afterwards because they have two passwords to unlock their boss's door. Um, they're Slowpoke and Raticate Tail. Nothing terribly exciting. That's annoying. So you have to fight him anyway. Um, if he sees you, no big deal. But walking up to him like that and then him turning and seeing you is the absolute slowest outcome you could have gotten. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Do people actually like laugh like that? I've never heard anyone laugh like that. Uh, we could ask a uh, resident laughing expert, Mike Uyama. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, it's Goofy. It's like Goofy. It makes sense now. Gorge. It's Gorge. Gorge. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> we have a $7.50 donation from... I swear you guys are just trying to make these hard to read. Schultetheim? Uh, it says, anime in my Pokemon. It actually was going for Gumi, not anime, so. <laughs> we saw how far behind it's Gumi. We have a $3 donation that says, waited all day for the Pokemon speedrun. Keep up the good work, guys. You waited for a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a spinner I just hit, and that's one that you don't want to fight. Um, he doesn't really have anything threatening. You just bite everything, but... Uh, it's just a waste of time. We have a twenty-five dollar donation from Darkest Phoenix that says anime. I need a list of all these people that donated for anime, so they're banned in my chat. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Kizaron or meanbig.net. I do want to make a shout out to Damien Gyarados being the largest bidding war of the marathon so far. <laughs> Anime sells. At $1,779.50 in total, which is awesome, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the donations. It kind of reminds me of the, the tail end of Keyzathon. We had anime versus no anime, and it raised $1,100 in like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> this is so tight. Anime is currently winning with $577, and Gumi has $567.57. Or, 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 sorry, in 50 cents. Yeah. All time sad. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, man. <laughs> I'm so sad. Did you ever try to snipe? <laughs> Getting it in a little too late. I'm still looking forward to the $1,000 for, for Medic. So the funny thing is, as boring as this part is, um, in terms of like what's actually going on, it's actually worse with Entei because you only use Stomp for every single fight except one. Oh, that's lame. Uh, you use Stomp for every single fight except one, and if you run into that fight, you just use Ember instead. But So you're literally just running into trainers and mashing A. Like You don't even have to think about like what move you're using. We have a $150 donation from Cinder Phoenix that says, Anime must win. No. We have a $5 donation from PX saying, Okay, I got it reversed. First time viewer, long time donator. Yep. Just for that fact check, it's still going to anime. <laughs> Why did you encourage him? <laughs> <laughs> that was a bold strategy. It didn't pay off. So since we hit him already, I don't have to wait, so I guess there's that silver lining. But this is crystal. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $5 donation from Red Wave saying, Long time watcher of Mean Big, first time donated at RPG Limit Break. Good luck on the crystal run, and may it go better than your last marathon run in Johto. <laughs> we don't talk about that, okay? <laughs> Yeah, the last game that I did in a marathon that was based in Johto was my Heart Gold run in SGDQ, and that was not good. Lots of things contributed to that. Uh, most importantly, like the, the schedule had shifted so much to where even our backups couldn't work. So I kind of had to just improvise for a while and then not win the final fight. 
I do want to point out, we did just hit 20000 to total dollars raised for the marathon. So thank Woo! you guys so much for that. Keep donating the ban anime. We have ten dollars from Rizukun saying, "Alta, you're crazy. Think of the value." <laughs> the value. <laughs> we have a ten dollar donation from Pikachu Picabra saying, "Gumi, please." Woo, Gumi. I see you too are a man of culture. <laughs> So now we find out that this hideout was controlling a bunch of radio waves and is being controlled by some electrodes that are, I guess, getting tortured or something? I don't... I don't know specifically what. Their, their powers are being used, that much I know. <coughs> so me and, my, me and my new best friend Lance are gonna knock them all out because we can't just remove them. Clearly violence is a solution to this. It's true. That's what Pokemon taught me. So about how far until you go back to Goldenrod, by the way? Uh, five minutes. Well, the naming board now just went over $2,000 in total. <coughs> uh, anime is currently winning with $807, and Gumi is uh, lagging behind with $582.50. Yeah, another $500. <laughs> Not made of money. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's anime for a good cause, I guess. <laughs> I think I threw up a little in my mouth. <laughs> we had a $50 donation from Noel Police saying, Anime was a mistake. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> think of it this way. You can't spell anime without Nami, sort of. <laughs> That's true. Why would you justify this? <laughs> Alright, we, we saved the city, I guess. There's a $20 donation from Three Ducks saying, I kind of wish I'd gone with Polychamp, but it's too late now. Go Polk Champ. <laughs> we find out it was a typo the whole time. <laughs> I'm surprised. Nah, I'm knocking out two gyms, and then after that, we're back in Goldenrod. So, help save the world. Ban anime. We have a $200 donation from Kirby Master that just says, Anime? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Get off my couch! <laughs> <laughs> that was actually for Gumi. I don't believe you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm saving here because there's a spinner, and his name is Douglas, and you don't really have any way of dodging him because it's an ice puzzle, and he's slow to fight, so... But we dodged him, so uh, go team. That was, like, that was a group effort. Yeah, everyone give yourselves a round of applause. You did really good. <laughs> Respect your elders. If, if only you guys were as humble as I were. <laughs> mm -hmm. That doesn't really matter. Unless he Lynch. pushes me. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what? No. Why? I said it doesn't matter. 
At some point, we'll learn to stop talking and just let things... I mean, Dugong was really bored. Hey, we don't just, talk about boredom anymore. Just buying time for Gumi. Let's go, Gumi. Let's go, Gumi. Going for Gumi. Holy cow. Kirby was oh, not no. lying. <laughs> Gumi is now winning. Yay! With $1,187.50. <laughs> $1, whoa, wow. whoa. Where did a big jump come from? Anime is in second with $832. <laughs> Let's go, Gumi. I need to get my phone prepared just in case. <laughs> <laughs> we have a $400 donation that says, Hashtag ban anime. Praise our lord and savior, Gumi. <laughs> <laughs> Another person of culture. Why does this always work? <laughs> Anime sells. <laughs> Anime? Anime. 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 We have a five dollar donation from Danica. It says, Kizaron, how do you reconcile your morals with the fact that Pokemon itself is anime style? Donation goes towards Pira for the most anime game in the marathon, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Well, thanks for having me in the marathon. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Grunt if you want to come back and press A for me. <laughs> After all, he has a storied history of, <laughs> of good luck. Just in the other direction. We still have enough time. We could just switch to a bingo and do that instead. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know the worst part about this is I can't accidentally eject something. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm so close to you. <laughs> <laughs> and after Kaza even went and got the water for you. <laughs> oh, it was you. Oops. <laughs> you know, the funny thing, though, is I actually can hit eject and it's not going to do anything. Can I try? <laughs> want to. <laughs> if something actually does happen, I could blame you instead. <laughs> well, I mean, it's another way for me to ruin your ma marathon run. That's mm -hmm. true. I mean, you have two eject buttons. You have to specify which eject. Yes. <laughs> so I think we're fighting actual gym leader now? Yes. Yep. The, the way that the lighthouse is designed, it's it's essentially like the gym. Because like you have, you have all those trainers in there. And then she just has a really barren gym otherwise. Surrounded by rocks and what looks like a candy cane stick. At least in the remake, she has people in there to help cheer you on. <laughs> yeah, they, they still don't even fight you. They're just, you can do it. We believe in you. Paid moral support. <laughs> the power of anime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting mixed messages here. <laughs> Look here, man. <laughs> you can't spell Magnemite without an anime. Is that true? That is yeah. true. Yeah, that is. Wow. No! <laughs> anime. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. Did you actually know that, or did you just say it? <laughs> I just, just looked us. <laughs> We have a twenty dollar so, donation from Alec that says, Costa told me anime always wins, and I'm a hardcore bandwagoner, so let's put this towards that. <laughs> Actually he put it towards Gumi. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as soon as I walk out of this gym, I fly to Goldenrod. <laughs> Get your donations in right now for Gumi. I'd rather you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have this one. We have a $5 donation from I Am Groot that says, I am Groot. I am Groot. We are anime. No! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Elma is giving the anime lovers more time. Okay, <laughs> there's one more thing I have to do before I can reach the name raider, and that's use the center. So if anime somehow wins in the span that it takes to heal me, I'll be both impressed and sad. <laughs> All right, so what are we looking at? 
All right, we just closed it, so give me like just a couple seconds. Make sure everything gets through. I don't want any mishaps this time. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> so I'm gonna let you like get to the name page. All right, we're there. Yes. Can I get a drum roll while this refreshes? Today, anime has been defeated. Yes! <laughs> With $1,207.50, our Gyarados is now named Gumi. We did it. Go team. This was a group effort. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for making this possible. <laughs> Without them, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> are you Boomy, Mommy, and Daddy? What are you doing? <laughs> Also, Mo also Mother's Day, yesterday. I think my favorite thing about this is you named your the main character after a player or a character from Blaze Blue Cross Tag, and you're complaining about anime. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey, listen here, you. Don't try to confuse the issue with facts. <laughs> Fact check. <laughs> Fact check. <laughs> all right. So now, now that all the bid stuff is done. We can finally truly say that anime's been defeated. I don't know, isn't there a name raider in Saffron too? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you also still have two rival fights left. Hey! <laughs> well, that's him beating anime, so it kind of works. Yeah, see? Exactly. <laughs> Trying to bring me down, man. <laughs> so this is part two of Resident Sleeper. After, after we get past the radio tower quest, it, I'm not going to say it gets necessarily exciting again, but it's a lot more thought. Instead of just, oh, I one-shot this. Oh, uh, I I'm, win. Since we got some time, I'm, I've got a bunch of donations I can just Go blast through. It. We have $100 from Zeph Tanegi saying, just to be safe, hashtag ban anime. <laughs> we have $5 from RPD234 saying, well, if you want away from Anna May, there's always Anna Morphs. <laughs> 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 We have $150 from Gedrith that says, Go Goomy. You betrayed me! <laughs> <laughs> it is right there. That's Gedrith. <laughs> we have $10 for Anime is Love, Anime is Life. I think that, uh, that was from Dr. Doobie. We have $10 from Scenario saying, $10 to Keys' is choice. As long as that choice is to name the Gyarados anime. <laughs> These aren't choices. These are ultimatums. <laughs> Choice is an illusion. We have $5 from Cinder Phoenix saying, I'll put a few to Gumi too. We have $25 from Wartap saying, first time seeing a Pokemon speedrun, but my vote absolutely needs to go to anime. Can we get a fact check on That's that too? That's a liar. <laughs> Whose donation was it? Wartap's. What a liar. <laughs> he speedruns Sun and Moon. <laughs> A fifteen dollar donation from anonymous saying, "This is a boring donation. Therefore, the money goes to anime." <laughs> Are we sure we don't want to reopen this for Saffron too? <laughs> <laughs> we have an anonymous twenty dollar donation that says, "Just like one of my Japanese animes." <laughs> we have a twenty five dollar donation saying, "Anime trash is life." <laughs> Animes. Stay the guy who owns me, me Big Net. Listen here, you. And who played DDLC? Listen here, oh, you. God. <laughs> I was paid a good amount of money to do that. <laughs> that doesn't change anything. Listen here, you. <laughs> We're listening. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm observing. <laughs> You're the worst. What kind of couch? Uh, it's like plaid, kind of. And <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Are we all about to get fired again? <laughs> all of you. Each and every one of you. Including the crowd. I already got... Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. Everyone. I already got fired to the tournament. I get it. <laughs> oh, God. It's because fire beat you. It makes sense. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn it. We have a $5 donation from Have You Seen the Ocean. The organization should make and hit the eject button during your game and instead of next year. <laughs> that won't screw anything up, right? Everyone just play download only games. We have a $2 donation from Steel Frost saying, 
It seems like every marathon I watch of Keys, Keys luck is garbage. I mean, we had a bad stat Totodile, we have anime, Keys' is favorite Pokemon name, the Clefairy being Savage. What did you do to make these games give you bad RNG every time? Seriously, I'm impressed. We Here's two bucks to the Solo Chester versus <laughs> Final Boss incentive. You all will definitely want to get in on that. Congrats on 20k, and let's keep up this awesome donation train. I don't, I don't have an answer for that, by the way. I think I was just born. I thought I, thought I heard I was just bored. <laughs> no! <laughs> don't encourage it. Also, I accidentally strength that Zubat when I meant to bite, so hopefully that's not an issue. I can only see anime now when I see that name. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. I can't unsee it now. Magnemite's the worst Pokemon now. <laughs> <laughs> so when are you doing a Magnemite solo in donation? And never. Something? Never ever. There will never be a reason. I can't wait till your next randomizer race when Magnemite is the only decent Pokemon you can take. No. <laughs> That would be pretty bad. Yeah. That'd be next level. Jeez, I'm trying to think of what else would have to be a thing for that to work out. Uh, a lot of bad. That reminds me of the Wonder Trade race of Sun and Moon, like me and Sinstar and Garf, and I think one other person did. And we all had, like, water mains, and we were like, okay, at the end we're going to do a battle royale with whatever Pokemon we used. And I think it was Sinstar had a Magnemite as like his second Wonder Trade poke, and all he did was just teach it the Thunder TM and just destroyed all of us. <laughs> Pro proof that anime wins. Do we see P2 in this run? We do not. Dang. I had to think about it. We only get to see Teenage Alta. <laughs> not, not fully grown Alta. <laughs> Back when Alta was edgy. Shame you're not running Entei because there's a question I want to ask, but it's not relevant anymore. <laughs> what was it? Oh, you know, something about a fire move. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do explode. If you use a water move on a coffin, can it never explode again? <laughs> <laughs> it just dampens it permanently. We have a $29 donation from Soap that just says thanks. You're welcome. We have a $20 donation from LLK saying, hey gang, loving the run. As you can see, I donated some art to the cause. Regardless, I'll give Keys a break and put my money towards Virtual High Blood 101% because that game is amazing. We need to see Silly Walking in West of Loathing too, so let's make that happen, people. Amazing is certainly a word that could be used to describe that game. <laughs> <laughs> As long as it's not paired with we good, yes. <laughs> I do want to remind you guys that if you get in a $5 donation minimum during this run, you have a chance at winning either the Entei or the Total Dial plush that our couch and the person behind the couch, Escrunt, is lovingly holding up for you guys. <laughs> We've confirmed the Entei has good enough DVs to be run, but the Total Dial <laughs> is a bit lacking. But still lovable all the same. Disagreed, it's died three times. <laughs> Wasn't that Crokinaw? Doesn't matter. <laughs> was the bunk to the table intentional? Yeah, I, it wasn't It wasn't done right, but uh, since that guy was a rotator, I had to wait for him to complete. Oh, so it's kind of set anyway. up. Yeah. We have a loving name for them called Rotatoes. <laughs> <laughs> What would you call spinners then? Spinners. Spin. 
So just for the sake of being safe, because I did use an extra strength, I'm gonna go ahead and center now. I'm also gonna do my shop while I'm here. I was trying to delay it until the end of the underground sequence, because you can take an elevator from there to the top, but I might as well just do it now. By the way, when does E2 become relevant? Uh, now. <laughs> Actually, a, a little earlier, but I remembered. I'm so humbly smart. He did remember, <laughs> though. I did. I may have done it wrong still, but that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, we remembered, so we did our job. Good job. So are we not fired? No, you, you've been <laughs> fired long ago. <laughs> not for that reason, anyway. <laughs> We have a $10 donation from Chilled Like Ice that says, Fun fact, the state of Maine was probably named after anime. What? <laughs> it has mm. all the letters in it. Yeah, so the reason the date that we set at the beginning of the game was important is uh, on Sunday you can pick up the TM for Return, which is what he just got. Um, the Pokemon that you have in front has to like you a certain amount in order to get it. Um, and Return is basically just going to be a base power 102 normal move for us. Which is really pretty good. Yeah, it's a move that's based off of how much the Pokemon likes you, and if it's at max, then the base power is 102, which is about as powerful as Earthquake. So it's pretty darn powerful. Mm -hmm. So I believe like Fire Blast and Thunder, which are like some of the most commonly like oh, those are really powerful moves, are, like 120, I believe, right? So. They're 120 in this game, but yeah, they have later lower accuracy. Return doesn't miss though. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's the big nicey. So I think most of the moves that have one, powerful moves that have 100 accuracy are like 95, 90 power, like Psychic, Ice Beam, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like anything stronger than that usually has some downside. Earthquake and Return are like the exceptions. Well, Earthquake doesn't have flying types. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always an asterisk on everything. Drink lots of milk. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and save, because it's, it's very unlikely I die to this rival fight, but I, the last thing I need is to die to anime. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if anime killed the run? No. <laughs> I would rather not at this point in time. <laughs> anime had its time under the sun. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> Good. He has confused Ray, which would be annoying, but luckily he decided to attack instead. I can't think of what else could go wrong here other than like Meganium doing something. You are absolutely right, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> what are you doing? I, I'm making it more exciting, okay? I did say this was the boring part. Hey, listen here, you. I know where you sleep. <laughs> hmm. He knows where you sleep. No, oh, you're right. All right, so he has sad. a sneasel. I'm sad. I like Sneasel. Where did he catch this? Like, can, you can only catch it in Kanto in this game, Mount right? Mount Silver, I think. Oh, it's Mount Silver? Which is technically Kanto. But... <laughs> he just stumbled upon one. <laughs> he won to trade it. I think, I think it was implied, like, if you if you talk to the guy on Cyanwood um, and take his Shucky, which is just the nickname for Shuckle, I think it's implied that it was his Sneasel. So I think that's where he gets it from. Mm. I could be wrong. But uh, I feel like that's right. I said it, therefore I think it's right. <laughs> so just an update on the uh, Lightning Returns incentives. The Buna Bells post-run fight has actually now been met, which is awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Woo! Also, shout out to Casa for running over here and writing out a pronunciation guide for these names. <laughs> uh, we are still about a two hundred and five dollars off of the Urshkigal. <laughs> Urshik, hold on. 
Ereshkigal? Ereshkigal. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening, Alec. <laughs> Dear Square Enix, please name your super bosses Steve and John in the next game. <laughs> so this is going to sound really silly, but I'm going to keep looking at what my time is, because after the Elite Four, if I'm confident that I'm still going to be underestimate, I need to go to the little boys' room. <laughs> <laughs> because all the water I've been drinking since I've been coughing. <laughs> We're going to make it a co-op run, Oral. You know the route, right? Uh, I haven't done it in a while. My time is garbage, but, you know. <laughs> can you handle the boat? Because if you can... Probably. All right, co-op run again. You do have notes, so... <laughs> <laughs> you did help me with Sapphire last year. I helped you defeat yourself. It's and, true. And your Sapphire run had to cast form fight. <laughs> it sure did. This is all your fault, Kirby. I was coughing because of you. <laughs> Get it? Coughing. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> With that, we have a $5 donation from Drum Board is 209. I'm donating $5 so that I can A, steal that total from Kizaron. Two, still the total from Essentia's family. And D, hopefully I have better stats than what Key's got. Wait, what? <laughs> I have not a troll. <laughs> Why would you suggest that? Donation equals whatever Keys are on wants. Which is still apparently a better Toto dial. <laughs> oh, at this point in time, I want to use the bathroom. <laughs> we have a $50 donation from Cinder Phoenix saying, I would be in the room right now, but I'm feeling the best here is supporting Lude not doing a rando. We have a ten dollar donation for Peanut Hack saying, "At what point do you get the snake transformation?" Donations to Kizaron's choice. <laughs> snake. Mm -hmm. Snake wood. No. <laughs> Trombone. No. We have a five dollar donation from Doctor Swellman saying, "Kizaron is definitely the antagonist of this ins insane anime." I can't wait till the next season when Gunner saves the waifu and Kiz has to team with Xerian to destroy the world. <laughs> no. <laughs> this has to be more like a wrestling plot than anime. I don't know. I mean, wrestling is basically anime. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I feel like that might be Couch enough. Couch off now. <laughs> You'll have to wrestle him off the couch. How dare you. <laughs> we have a $10 donation from Cute Panda saying, really enjoying the marathon. Keep up the good work. And thanks a lot for supporting mental health. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to anime. No, What? <laughs> <laughs> Have we seen a Weezing in this run yet? Yeah. Yeah, one. Oh. Keys of what? Yeah, I was about to say, if there are keys are on subs in chat, we should be seeing some keys of what spam. Too late. A little late. Way to pay attention, couch. <laughs> we fail at our jobs. Don't you lump us in with you? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're all guilty for different things here. You tried to save the day, at least. And then you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> I should change the Gumi name to WWE. <laughs> well, there's still Saffron name later. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> do you, you want to take that risk? Re that I, can, no. I, can get, I can get that going right no. now. <laughs> Don't do it. Is he in Saffron, though? I think there's one there. I'm pretty sure there is. Is he in that or in Lavender? Lavender sounds like it's the I right know that one. Lavender was... First gen. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why I keep thinking it's Saffron. But I'm pretty sure there's two name raiders in this game. We have a five dollar donation from Ghost King. Regarding the comment for what kind of couch, well, you see keys around in some countries. A couch is called a Chesterfield. <sighs> Chesterfield is the name of a region in Derbyshire, England. England is where Bowie is from. Bowie is going to be running speed speedrunning Xenoblade 2 on that couch. Ergo, that couch is anime, and flipping it will only turn up more anime. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> it checks out. No, it doesn't. Bam. My head hurts. <laughs> Same. Everything is garbage. 
Everything's boring. Stop saying that. <laughs> I just wish there was something exciting about this part, but there just isn't. Well, to be fair, your face is on camera. Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> Alright, Kirby, what's your favorite anime? Good question. I'm, I was waiting for Digimon. <laughs> or, I was considering that. Or just the Kirby anime. <laughs> That's right, I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, it was a thing. Is that the one with the Kirby, Kirby, Kirby song? Yeah. Okay. Alright, Oro, what's your favorite anime? The Kirby anime. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alta, what's your favorite anime? Uh, the Kirby anime. <laughs> <laughs> so, Keith, what's your favorite anime? King of the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on, throw the question my way. Let's go. Alright, cool. What's your favorite anime? WrestleMania 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, you got me. <laughs> well, now I need to change my name to the... Kiza what? <laughs> Kiza what? Kiza what in chat? Now I need to change my answer to the Scooby-Doo WWE crossover. <laughs> <laughs> I actually watched that. It's so cheesy. It's pretty bad. The Kiss one is better. <laughs> my... My... my <laughs> That I was, have so many questions good. right now. <laughs> Dude, the the Scooby-Doo WrestleMania one was hilarious because at one point in time, John Cena just appears out of nowhere and blocks a boulder. <laughs> like, with his theme and everything. Alright, Spike, I know you're back there and your voice is loud enough. What's your favorite anime? <laughs> Afraid and curious at the same time. You don't want to see it. Don't Do worry I, about I, it. I, I kinda, I'm kind of curious. You don't want to see it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do they, did yes. they get a transformation sequence? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the chat knows what's going on. <laughs> they don't, and they probably should not. Yeah. Use your imagination. Don't worry about it. It was some form of anime. It sure was. <sighs> My is life a, is ruined. <laughs> does a Sailor Moon crossover mean anything to anyone? <laughs> what a bad picture I just saw. <laughs> Cursed images. Cursed indeed. We have a $15 donation from Dr. Teach, or Dr. T Chop saying, Hi Keys, if you let anime win, I'll never forgive you. Uh, you live in Canada, I don't care. <laughs> 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 Canadians in the crowd. Raise your hand in the crowd if you're Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I said hand, not hands. Seems they're already getting it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's my apology? <laughs> That's rude. That, do that doesn't sound very polite. <laughs> That's so rude. Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> So Oro, in like 25, 30 minutes, are you ready to take over for two minutes? Uh, I can try. <laughs> I believe in you. It's just the boat. I just need to remember how the boat sequence, like, its triggers go. What the heck? That wasn't anywhere close. Gauss, come on. You suck. Is return at max power at this point? It, I'm pretty I, it's, sure... It's pretty close, but I don't think yeah, it is quite yet. I think it's like upper 90s. 
Is it like a straight linear like scale, or does it like step up like every like? I want to say it's just like half of your like friendship value or something like that. There's some formula to like how it's. Somebody smarter than us would know. <laughs> There's a lot of nerds in the Pokemon community that figure this out. It has been well established at this point in time. I just steal ideas and roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, come on. The Wiggly Woo? Wiggly Woo. Wiggly Woo. Meme Big was stolen from Pi. <laughs> <laughs> we prefer reappropriated. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to I Ate Your Pie. I have to do a Forbidden Memories race with him after this. And oh, apparently wait, wait, I, I have one? to, too. Are you doing one right after this run? Not immediately <laughs> after, no. Are you mad? <laughs> it's already about me oh. one as well, so, yeah. Ha! <laughs> So yeah, be sure to follow Kizaron at twitch.tv slash Kizaron to check out his Forbidden Memories race. Please don't. <laughs> Friendly reminder, Pi barely got sub-10 with two MBDs. <laughs> what a I wouldn't call an hour barely. That's barely. Okay. In that game, it's barely. Fair enough. Alright, so the resident sleeper part is almost over. We're very close. We just gotta beat this guy, and we're good to go. Is this guy dangerous? Press 1 in chat if you're still awake. <laughs> Press 2 if you're sleeping. 2? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 3? <laughs> I'm both! <laughs> So thank you for joining me on this adventure. This is the first time I've done for Alligator in a long time. <laughs> like, a year. So on a more serious note, what actually is the differences in the routes? Like, what, where does for Alligator do better? Where does Entei do better? So Entei does significantly better in Johto because it's so overleveled. Um, it also saves time overall because it levels up less and its cry is shorter. Um, for Alligator does a little better in Kanto, though. But overall, it just leads to a huge time save with Entei. But what's what's the difference in time between the two routes? Um, it's, I think the difference between the best Entei run right now and the best for Alligator run right now is like four or five minutes. Close enough like in a marathon setting. Yeah. Entei's also got to rely on a lovely move called Iron Tail. <laughs> yeah. Iron Tail is basically just steel mega kick, so it misses a lot. 70% hit, I think? Mm-hmm. Same accuracy as Thunder. It's it's horrible. So hey, so it's similar to Heart Gold now. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna get this lovely little pink bow here so our for alligator can look and feel pretty. It also boosts normal type moves, but mostly that first part. <laughs> That's why it boosts normal type moves. Yeah, because it's so happy and pretty. Is it ten or twenty percent? Ten. There are various items in this game where if you equip them, it boosts certain t moves of certain types by 10%. Mm -hmm. I think there's like a series of c characters, NPCs that you can talk to on certain days of the week that give you things like the grass boosting move and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, Miracle Seed, Black Belt, Poison Barb, Hardstone, I don't remember. Magnet, I think, is one of the ones some days. Yeah, Magnet's did. one. You save the radio tower, and they still expect you to do this quiz. Yeah, how rude. <laughs> I think they'd have a little more respect. Interestingly, if we were doing Entei, we would have actually gotten this earlier. Um, there's a radio station called Pokemon March that increases encounter rate slightly, and it helps in finding Entei slightly. But we can put it off until getting it now with Alligator. There actually is a stat manip. Why did I fly here? <laughs> there's, there's actually a stat manip um, for Entei that was found relatively recently um, that doesn't use the radio card, but if you mess it up, then the punish is really, really huge. So what you're saying is it's incredibly marathon safe. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> 
We have a $100 donation from Janet saying, I love NAMI for all it does to help and break stigmas on mental illnesses. Interesting thing to note, the uh, first uh, four steps, when you enter a cave, or uh, free, you don't get any encounters in those. Yeah, and it actually leads to a really interesting repel timing here. So because I can go through those first four steps just fine, my repel is going to wear off one tile before the ladder. So I'm going to be able to do a neat little menuing trick where I can just start my repel up on the very next floor and use strength from the menu, which is barely faster, but still faster nonetheless. So it's going to wear off right here. I use a couple tiles of immunity there. Use my repel. And then strength from the menu. Because we have a boulder puzzle coming up in a sec, and I'm going to try and do it as nicely as I can here. Nope. What the heck? What the heck? Oh. oh. Alright, well, I'm going to turn on my input display here real quick so you guys can see them actually doing it right. You can't see it on the background at all. That's horrible. Turning it back off. That was really weird, though. <laughs> okay, well, you know, whatever. It doesn't want to work. <laughs> I tried. See? Pretty. First try. Clap. Woo! I look forward to the encounter I'm going to get. Because my repel is going to wear out early. That was really bad, though. Oh my god, it's wearing out oh. here. That's exciting. We did it. We did it. <laughs> that was really, really bad. <laughs> um, I guess I'll use this now. Is that the first lucky thing that's happened all run for you? Pretty much. Small miracles. All right, Gumi's going to learn some moves for us. Thanks, Gumi. Gumi! Exclamation point, exclamation point. The artist formerly known as anime. <laughs> <laughs> anime Gumi? Anime evolved into something better. <laughs> sure did. So the biggest reason why Poliwag slash Gyarados slash um, Dratini are important is because the amount of Pokemon that can learn Waterfall is actually stupid low. What the heck is this movement? My goodness! Yeah, the amount of Pokemon that can learn Waterfall is super, super low. Um, I think like the list also includes like Goldeen line and Psyduck line. Which, you can run into a Psyduck, but it's not very likely. And then you're not going to see Goldeen anywhere. So with that pink bow and the fact that Steps plus levels plus a lot of other things contribute to happiness. Uh, Return's actually really, really powerful now. Um, there's also badge boosts from certain gyms, like going back to the Rival 2 fight where we used Fury Cutter. Uh, Fury Cutter was really good because one, it was super effective, and two, we just finished the bug gym, so we got boost to bug moves. Um, because Whitney was a normal type gym, we got uh, a boost to our normal moves, so Return is really, really strong to the point where we skip out on Earthquake, which is a move that we used to pick up all the time back then. Did you hear that? You're a nameless trainer. <sighs> Don't talk about Lin like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a dragon type. Not yet. Sometimes it is. There are what, four four dragon types in Gen 2? Yep. Yeah. Dra Dragonite Line and King Dread, that's it. Alright, no miss, that's good. Alright, maybe maybe I can do these boulders nicely. Nice. 
We did it. <laughs> the boulder fell through. I'm just gonna blame either my controller or the TV or both. What about emulator? <laughs> 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 just blame anime. I really should. Anime's put so much unneeded stress on me. <laughs> Who likes anime anyway? Well, without anime, it's really been so boring. <laughs> hey, stop saying boring. Also, here's something that's um, significant between for Alligator and Entei. So Claire is actually one of the scariest fights as uh, Entei, because Kingdra has Surf, whereas for for Alligator, it really isn't much of a big deal. Rats, if only I had a dragon. In this dragon gym. Let's see, this trainer has dragon types at least. She's following the gym orders. I just like how it's a dragon type and they all have water, yet there's lava on the floor. Yeah! <laughs> It's a safe gym. It's child friendly. <laughs> oh, hey, Dragonair. Oops. So there's a Dragonair trade that's in Blackthorn, but um, it's, it's funny because you can only trade female Dragonair. If you have a male Dragonair, she doesn't want it. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Save just to be safe. We haven't saved in a while anyway. Didn't realize NPCs were into breeding Pokemon too. I guess so. So I believe even with the extra levels and the calciums I use, these Dragonairs are ranges because my special is so low, but hopefully we just get them. They're favorable, if I remember correctly. Oh. Just kidding. <laughs> Good stuff. Why do I talk? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were talking about how the entire, rock, entire rocket sequence was. Oh, no, don't you burger. dare. Okay. <laughs> That's another 30% right there. It's so bad. I am going to heal on the Kingdra, though. Because it can kill me with Hyper Beam. One. Nice. Okay, there we go. There's one. We're one for two. There's a third one. The Dragonairs all have, like, different elemental moves, I think, right? Yeah. Like, one of them has, like, Thunder Wave. The other has, like... Ice Beam or something like that? Yeah, they, they, they have different elemental stuff. It, it pretty much like fulfills Tri Attack. It's interesting. Okay, you're gonna be a pal. Pal. Use Hyper Beam. <laughs> Just... I keep seeing that Gumi and it's making me smile. <laughs> There was a positive of that text box that got really scared. <laughs> There's the hyper beam. Easy. Now, for whatever reason, every single female gym leader in Johto makes you do extra stuff. So Whitney whines and cries until her trainer tells you, hey, turn around and talk to her again. Jasmine wants you to take care of the Ampharos. Claire over here wants you to go through the Dragon's Den and complete a quiz. So demanding. <laughs> I think this is a quest that you have to do only in Crystal, I think. Um, you have to you have to go in here in uh, gold silver as well, but you just pick up an item. Whereas oh, right. in this, you have to actually do a quiz. Which the quiz actually isn't too bad because if you remember the answers to the radio card, which is just one one two one two, you can do the same exact thing for this. 
That'd be really funny if they use the exact same text boxes for that. Yeah. I think they implemented um, the quiz into Heart Gold Soul Silver as well. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty much all the Crystal exclusive stuff into Heart Gold Soul Silver. We have a five dollar and thirty three uh, cent donation from Feraligator Bun saying Pokemon Speedruns is the best anime. No. <laughs> I quit forever. Oro, your time to shine is soon. Oh, we have man. a $1 donation from Drumboardist80 saying, Escaflown is better than WrestleMania 2015. It's better than Kirby Anime. Fact, donation goes to the little boy's room. <laughs> <laughs> it's, go it's going to go before I get to. <laughs> it's not fair. So one, one... Two, one, two, and that's numbers with keys on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so on Entei route, if we didn't catch a polywag, after we get the badge and talk to Clara outside of the den, we would go back inside and get the free Dratini, and that would be our waterfall slave. The Dratini can also be handy because there's, there's a chance that you die on... Um, on Lance with Entei, because Dragonite lives on one HP because you low roll, and the Dratini has extreme speed. So you can actually save the day with a really low level poke just because it has a priority move. Would losing experience there hurt you at all, or is it just no. like... This reminds me of those level one Endeavor Ratatas. <laughs> oh, <that. laughs> the Fear Ratata. The fear rat yeah. Wait, how did she get, come from there? Uh, anime? Do you know magic? <laughs> anime, yeah, sure. Or that. Let's blame anime. Blame anime. I still can't believe you guys ruined King of the Hill for me. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing sacred. Or did we just improve on Sailor Moon? Hmm. Hmm. I like how now, like, chat now knows what that picture was that I have like, no idea earlier. <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he know? No. Good. They can only guess now. We're just piecing it together. It's, it's a secret in this room. It's a secret to everyone. Yes, it's a secret to everyone. <laughs> We're talking about how great Banime is. <laughs> oh. It. <laughs> Fun fact about this guy. <laughs> oh, no. um, fellow Pokemon randomizer boy, Montebank, made a hard version of Crystal, and he turned that guy into a trainer uh, with a name that I can't say on stream. And um, he has six Pokemon that explode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that movement was deliberal, and uh, so is this. I was gonna ask. That was a little uglier than I wanted it to look, but it's so my repel can wear off at a certain spot. Because we're gonna be passing another spinner soon. And he's taking a lot of surfs because he's trying to avoid these trainers. Mm -hmm. Surf is slow, but fights are slower. And there's a free heal here, which is nice. Because our next fight. Our next fight after a Rapidash is anime again. Also, that's assuming we don't hit her. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I mean, every time they've been stuck, it's to the right. I know, it's really weird. Normally, the way that you handle that is the repel would run out the first pass, and then the second pass, you would pause buffer and uh, use your super repel then. I lost her trainer named Anime, sad face. <sighs> that poor girl. I'm so sorry, Beth. Who loses to Anime, though? <laughs> you right. Crocona. Hey! <laughs> we don't talk about that. That was one of those like alternate timeline anime <laughs> side stories, okay? <laughs> it, it was filler, so it doesn't count. Exactly. 
non-canon. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I say, is that the light novel or the manga arc? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the heck? Hello? Maybe it's Please. the four kids adaptation. <laughs> what a digital dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so question, quick question. Does that guy actually check for all eight badges? In this game, yes. In the Heart Gold Soul Silver remakes, no. <laughs> what? Really? Because they assume you can't get there without all the badges because of the HMs you need to use. I mean, it should be true here, too. Yeah, it is, but uh, they actually had a guard that could count. Uh, <laughs> in, in Heart Gold's glitched category, you can actually go through the gate with four badges. And she's like, ah, oh, yes, all eight badges of Johto. Please, proceed. I think, like, Gen 3 only checks, like, three badges, too. Yeah, like it checks a 246, I believe. He lost his so glasses. Random. He sees double. You would think they would just, I guess, uh, can you fight Giovanni before you have seven badges in without glitching? No. Poor Sneasel. I'm so sad. Oro, you get to shine in five more fights. Oh, mm -hmm. man. It's uh, it's limit break tradition now that you have to play a little bit for me. Just keep playing games that I somewhat know. Good. So next year's Battle Network then, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the Animorphs offering. Oh goodness. I mean, that's it, it easy. is an RPG. That's easy. That's just mash A. It's true. You got little score to beat. I it. mean, like, just don't, just don't it. give it to Grunt. <laughs> <laughs> Could be Ultra Moon. Yeah, Ultra Moon. I'll have enough time to pee then. <laughs> I'll do Necrozma for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. So in the Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon speed run, well, more particularly Ultra Moon, um, you catch a Zerua early, and your main poke is a Halucha, kind of similar to how X had Halucha for a while. Um, you put the Zerua up front, uh, Necrozma will hopefully use a Psychic move, and you Toxic it. And it just slowly dies to toxic. It's pretty ridiculous. I think the only Pokemon strap that might be as good as that is Sticky Barb Centret, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, back on the old Heart Gold route uh, for any percent, they used to actually use a Sticky Barb with a Centret mm -hmm. when, like, for the uh, re final red fight. One of the most ridiculous strats I've ever seen. Ideally, we don't need to use 11, but just Mar in case. Marathons. Well, that, and it's only one input anyway. You just press right once. So how much do you remember of the boat? Uh, really nothing. All right, well. <laughs> I remember you go find the girl and bring her back to the captain and... There's only one required fight, right? Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, okay. So if I do any more than that, you know I messed up. Oh, that was supposed to be Surf. Oh, well. Kizaron gets back, and Oro's traded the fur alligator for a Pidgey. <laughs> <laughs> I've renamed everything to anime. Hmm. Mm. I don't know about this anymore. <laughs> Actually, you know what I could do is, as soon as I do the last move on Lance, give you the controller then. Yeah, I guess that would work. Now you have some mashing. This has actually happened. You killed a dragon to be. My goddess. <laughs> so how about that jinx sound? <laughs> this run has been blessed. Okay, so Slowbro's a range. Hopefully we get a good roll here. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, after oh. Lance, it's just soft reset and then Elm and then boat, right? Yeah, as soon as okay. uh, as soon as you see saving go away and the credits start, you can soft reset. Okay. Ow. What's this guy doing? Why you gotta be so rude? Thanks, Procentia.
Also, we do have a time for donations for the next couple of minutes. <laughs> Alrighty, we have a. All right, I'm not here, right? Yeah, okay. We have a $25 donation from Riley Masters saying, enjoying all the run. We have a $5 donation from Temporal Ice saying, Kizaran is both the best and the worst gamer of all time. All hail the meme lord. <laughs> we have a $15 donation from Mechamoth saying, after surviving a suicide attempt and discovering I was bipolar, Pokemon was one of those series that helped me center myself and con continue living life to the fullest. Thanks to all the runners for supporting such a great cause and helping those with mental health issues. Let me do a quick check and see how the Urshkigal uh, post-fight run is coming along. I like hearing you try to pronounce that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so the Super Boss Steve post-fight run for <laughs> Lightning Returns is at $220 out of $300. So it would be really, really awesome if we can get that last $80 in. I'd say we can get that in before the first Kanto Gym badge. What do you think, Keys? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. We have a $5 donation from Stay Hydrated Bot 165 saying, Kizaron, you've been streaming for 31 hours. I you drank should have consumed water. at least 3.72 liters of water to maintain <laughs> optimal hydration. So it's Stay Hydrated Bot in the chat. Look here, so we went to IHOP last night, okay, and I had a pitcher of water. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about that wasn't the pitcher, it was the fact that you took three straws, stuck them together to get a giant pitcher of glass. Look, man. <laughs> You didn't have them while you were streaming, though, so... Yeah, but I haven't peed count. since then. <laughs> I'm scared. So, if you noticed, um, the... Ariados used double team, and this monk used minimize, uh, but I didn't miss any of my moves. I, I would like to attribute that to good luck, but it really isn't. Um, so the way that X accuracies work, both in Gen 1 and Gen 2, is it completely skips the accuracy check, so everything is 100%, assuming that you can hit the Pokémon. So like, X accuracy Earthquake wouldn't work on something that flies, for example. But um, this fight has three Pokémon that can dodge moves like that, so using an X accuracy is really handy. It's a, it's a huge um, it's a huge portion of the strats in Gen One runs because you're using X attack uh, X accuracy and Horn Drill, and Horn Drill is a one hit KO move. Also, Bruno has not left his post. He's been here for years. <laughs> Three thousand years. Oh my God, Bruno is AZ. Yep. <laughs> Surprise. So on the old Feraligator route, since we would get Earthquake, we'd actually X attack once, and then we'd use Earthquake um, immediately after Hitmontop uses Dig, because Earthquake can hit users of Dig. It's kind of like how Twister can hit users of Fly. Thunder's accuracy is increased if somebody's flying, stuff like that. There's a lot of, um, I guess, flavor added to uh, how moves work when Gen 2 came around, because there's stuff like using Defense Curl doubles the damage of Rollout, uh, Rain Dance Thunder, Sunny Day Solar Beam, that kind of stuff. Uh, minimize Stomp. Uh, if something uses Minimize, then Stomp does double damage. A lot of things that Stadium 2 taught me as a kid. Because they have those challenge rooms that teach you pretty much all that stuff. Yeah. It's funny because I don't think I don't think there's any real reference to that kind of stuff within Gold, Silver, or Crystal itself. Is if anything, like, it's just an some NPC. random NPC saying something inside of like a Pokemon Center. Yeah. Maybe the manual had a reference, but I don't know anybody who read it. <laughs> who reads the manual? I'm gonna go hide in the corner because I think I actually did. Wow. <laughs> I like I the art strategy okay. guide. It was so. I had a strategy guide too. I know for sure the strategy guide had it. Probably I mean, not actually. Strategy guides are very accurate in every way. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Flawless. 100%. <laughs> I remember there was um, a strategy guide that I saw for uh, Link's Awakening. And the second dungeon, it told me the wrong order of the three monsters you have to kill to unlock one of the rooms. <laughs> and I never got past it until I saw a different strategy guide. Oh my god. 
I think there was a JDQ run years ago with Pokemon Yellow. I forgot who the runner was, but he looked at a player's guide to look for a bet on that, I think. But it was just wrong. <laughs> of I remember in Emerald, I had to get two strategy guides as a kid because, like, one of them, the first one that I got didn't tell me where items and stuff were. Oh, it just, like, gave you a list that said, like, they are on this route, but they didn't say, like, where they were. And I was, like, super completionist trying to pick up everything, so I had to buy another guide that like, actually told me where everything was. <laughs> So these sand attacks mean nothing because they use the next accuracy. Kind of nice. Umbreon the troll. You're killing a poor Eevee. Let me see your Eevee real quick. Do I want to? I don't know. Do you? you? do. <laughs> That's a good question. Quick, somebody okay. donate $5. <laughs> Take that. Oh, thank you. Why would you help him? How do you think Esperant got all that bad karma to begin with? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this Gengar is a range. Oh, it also had speed. Never mind, it's not a range anymore, though. <laughs> yeah, our speed was so bad that Gengar outsped us. But everything should be fine. It's fine, Tia. I will save before Lance. The chances of us dying are super duper low. I'm on Entei route. You actually have a pretty decent chance of dying, but... Like, we're at that part of the game where Feraligator does slightly better than Entei. And soon my co-op buddy, Oro, over here. <laughs> Friendly reminder, we had co-op world record. And now we'll have two. Yeah. With a suboptimal poke, too. But if Would you make it a co-op or alligator route world record category... Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. I see. Make it even harder to be beaten. Exactly. And then we can do Entei at another marathon and get a second world record. Exactly. That's just <laughs> amazing value. Think of all the value. I'm thinking. Hey, it's Gumi. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, if that bingo the other day taught me anything, it's just trying to do a goal bad impression. <laughs> that was awful. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Gumi. Actually, that wasn't Gumi. That was anime. <laughs> Blue Gumi. Good old Blue Gumi. What the heck? That's a raid? I learned something today! Medic cheated. Oh. Cheetah. I did not realize that the 40... I knew that the 50 was a range. I didn't realize that the 47 was. We're fine. We're fine. We're not fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Thirty percent strikes I just again. Pee. Thirty percent and a seventy percent. That was rude. Miss. No. I was. I was waiting for it. I was waiting, so for, it. I was waiting <laughs> for it. I was actually kind of hoping for it. I wasn't. <laughs> Say eleven of those you have. Yeah. He's used to already. Why? Okay, we got that one at least. Does uh, Gen 2 start tracking the opposing Pokemon PP, or did they not do yeah. that until... Yeah, they have. None of this was supposed to happen. Um... Oh. Rude. 
There's like a short delay there, and I wonder if it was thinking about a speed tie or something. Yeah. <laughs> Good red bar strats. Yeah. 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 I'm so concerned that, like, Aerodactyl's a range and I forgot or something. So, uh, don't be. Friend. Please die. Thank you. <laughs> Here you go, Oro. You get to take over. I will be right back. I gotta, like, weave this so I don't... So now we have a new runner. Oh. <laughs> hey, everybody. Oh, the layout. Oh, no. The layout. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Did you know if you press L on the on GBA player, you run, you run faster horizontally? <laughs> it just makes yeah, the game speed curse. Tech. <laughs> Everyone that stretches 4x3 games is 16x9 on Twitch. That's just what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Does GB interface still do that? As far as, yeah, it does. So what can you tell us about mashing technique here, new runner? Um, <laughs> I miss having instant text and hold to mash on bingos. <laughs> this is awful in comparison. <laughs> Shut up, Elm. I'm coming to you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally three steps away. So we're going to go to Elm and get the SS ticket and then take the ship to Kanto. And then we totally remember the rest of the route. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come back. Can somebody make sure Keys hasn't left the building? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not a great idea. The estimate might have to get increased a little bit. <laughs> I mean, wait, this marathon has never increased estimate, okay? <laughs> we have a lovely dynamic <laughs> estimate system. <laughs> ensuring that no runner ever goes over. Unless it's by exactly two seconds. Yes. <laughs> Alright, time to play the guessing game on left or right. Thankfully, these <laughs> notes are actually pretty detailed. So I don't have to remember much. Rude. Oh no, my daughter is gone. Or granddaughter, excuse me. I believe. Do you believe? Oh no, the stairs. <laughs> I forgot which tile they were on. Inoperable movement. So the granddaughter is hiding back here, but we have to go find this guy's co worker who's slacking off. Uh, okay. This is some amazing RNG manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we've gone this long and only have made that joke once. Is that a world record? <laughs> Probably. Something like that. <laughs> He's alive! Can yeah, you believe that all of these missteps are actually him getting ready for the wrong warp? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish this fight and give it back. <laughs> you comfy back there? That's right, you guys didn't actually, like, properly tag out. <laughs> Don't we yeah. just finish the ship? Okay. That'll probably be the easiest time to hand off. Without wasting time. He doesn't have a headset on. Hello? 
You don't need to hear him. He's irrelevant now. <laughs> this, is, this is the Oro show now, okay? <laughs> The girl's back here, right? Yeah. Okay. The notes don't tell me that much. Wait, where is she? Is this... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember these things. Oh, yeah, she's with the captain already. That's okay. What if that was a traitor? <laughs> I wasn't going to talk to her. <laughs> I'm bored. I want to play more. Now we can evolve our Scythers. <laughs> Bugsy would have really liked it. <laughs> okay. Oops. Oh no, I'm ah, caught. <laughs> I need to get the cord over here too. There we go. We did it. <laughs> Speedrun tagging. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Can we tag Oro back in? <laughs> Please get in here again. <laughs> Alright, so um, to any future marathon running prospects, do yourself a favor and don't have a tickle in your throat and drink water in the middle of your run. <laughs> My goodness, this movement. I'm sorry. A good RPG run will have a cutscene for you to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Therefore, Pokemon is a terrible RPG speed run. Or, or in some cases, take a shower. <laughs> Car <laughs> Car 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 <laughs> I think there was a story about how he was t t literally taking a shower in the kissing scene of Final Fantasy X. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I wasn't there for it, but I heard about it. All right, now that I've taken care of myself here, I'm gonna drink some more water. <laughs> Stay hydrated, bot. So, is Oro gonna have to do red then? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'll probably have better luck. Oh. That's true. Charm, 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 <laughs> charm, 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 <laughs> charm. Also, friendly reminder, due to bad fights, bad Totodile and shenanigans, the estimate is 350. <clears throat> Don't you dare blame Shen for this. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, fair enough. A five dollar and change donation that says co-op world record incoming. I'm going for it. Oh, you passed by the spinner like three times, don't you? Yeah, you, you passed her twice, and you have to pass her twice every time. So you pass her a total of four times. That's it's annoying. really obnoxious. Yeah, because you have to go down and around. Mm -hmm. So there's another spinner in Kanto that's really annoying. His name is Tom. Uh, he's right before the Lavender Town, and he has three Magnemites and. It's a little less annoying on Entei route, but on Feraligator route, hitting him really messes with your uh, with your PP management. He's gonna get a taste of my zap cannon. Go figure, anime ruins something. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Who's calling me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I love about Pokemon games. There's always some sort of mischief happening. It's like, you, 10-year-old boy or girl, will you help us? Nearest person available. Go. <laughs> the way he speaks is great. Oops, I so sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you see here, it's not nothing. Bye bye, bye a go go. go, -go. <laughs> The funny thing is, to finish the quest, you don't even need to fight him at all. So, in Heart Gold Soul Silver, you have to fight him, but in Gold Silver Crystal, you just kind of die. <laughs> nice knowing you. <laughs> it's unfortunate in Crystal you don't get the best fight ever on this route. Which is? Uh, where you kill your party. Oh, oh yeah, in uh, in Soul Silver Glitchless, you're using a uh, Raikou, and. Uh, there's a fight, it's a double fight at the end of this route, and it's it's so ridiculous. You use Discharge, which hits every single target on the field, and you just wipe out your party entirely, along with their party. And it actually helps out, too, because if you only have one Pokémon that's not fainted, then you can't get to double fights, so you skip a double fight later on that way. Huh. 
we advertise murder. <laughs> He's a thump. He's a thump. <laughs> I, I approve. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> also, Montebank. Shout out to Montebank. I never realized how stubby Granville's legs were until just now. Yeah. <laughs> nice crit. Completely needed. We have a $20 donation from our Relics that says, Komodo Hype! What? We've gone back in time. <laughs> Shoot. We have an anonymous $10 donation that says, I'm really lost, wiggly, but... Wiggly Woo! Wiggly Woo! <laughs> okay, go ahead. It's okay, you can wiggly woo. Like, get it out of your system now. <laughs> He's a W in chat. I think we get another one later. Kaiza, Kaiza, Kaiza. Kaiza, 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 Kaiza. Anyway, the donation. Yeah. <laughs> $10 donation from Anonymous saying, I'm really lost, but ooh, anime. Okay, grab the, okay, gather the Dragon Balls and which for Nintendo Switch, which is a good reminder, our grand prize for the marathon is if you donate $75 over the course of the entire marathon, so it doesn't have to be in one fell swoop. Could be, but uh, you have the chance to win a Nintendo Switch bundle that has a Nintendo Switch, Disgaea 5 Complete, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. After seeing chunks of the run today, I want to get this guy a five really badly. No! <laughs> Dude! 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 No! <laughs> if you didn't catch the run, you, you'll get the reference. Many, many large numbers. <laughs> that was the funniest part about that, is looking over, like, getting ready for the interview, looking over, oh, that was 13 trillion damage. <laughs> Keys, what's the most damage you're doing this run? Like 250? <laughs> Oh, I just grinded from like level 200 to 2000 in about 5 minutes. Cool. <laughs> We've been going for 3 hours and I went from 5 to 54. <laughs> what a noob. You're what? trying. What a scrub. <laughs> it's okay, my fire run will be worse. He's showing 14 trillion on a Game Boy Color screen would almost be the length of the screen. <laughs> you, just actually... see, you see like 3 lines of zeros. <laughs> you, you know what I like? How Fraligator... Is spelled at the end. It's like T R, not T E R or T O R or whatever. Was character limits. Yeah, because there, there wasn't enough space. Yeah, like you, you would think it's spelled with like 11 characters, but there's only a 10 character limit. Yeah, now Pokemon names have a higher character limit, and they never. They never change it. It's yeah. just still Fraligate R. Because now we have like Fletchender that's really long. It's Fraligat R. Thank Gatter. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's go Gatter. Fraligos. Gatter from BN2. <laughs> <laughs> In Gator we trust. <laughs> In Gator we trust. That PA is ridiculous. <laughs> it's so goofy too. It actually gets like super glitchy looking on emulator. Sometimes it doesn't register some of the objects. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you just like, like smack the back of Gateman and she's like, what's coming out? <laughs> Nothing. It's taking damage though. Also, shout out to Decon Stream. He loves Paris. Oh, was my, where was my shutout when Murkrow showed up like three times? <laughs> I, I tried to kick you off this couch. I had <laughs> okay, to keep you because I had to pee. That doesn't mean I can't get a shout out. Come on. You had right. your name on the stream. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? I really look a lot. like I'm really hoping that somebody just came into the stream right when you got on, <laughs> and they're like really confused. Like, wait, I thought Keys was Hello, doing yes, this. Hello, yes, I am Keys are on. So this is one of my favorite parts of the game. So, for, for a couple of reasons. One, like, the fights are kind of chill without being, like, too ridiculously stupid. Um, two, you had that Fraligator versus Nidoking interaction earlier, which I always thought was kind of neat because Nidoking's the undisputed champ of Gen 1. And then, just to be a jerk, you interrupt Misty's date. <laughs> Pests. But then she sees you have badges, like, oh. Uh, whatever, that, I don't care about that guy anyway, let's fight. 
But then... Back. Then... We don't fight her right away. We go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> so we interrupt her date and just run away. We're gonna do, uh... We're gonna do Erica first instead. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we should have muted the game audio and just mic'd up the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> They're singing to the music, it's great. I can't wait to hear their battle sound effects. Or something like Jinx's. Yeah, I want to hear a collective Jinx cry, darn it. Oh god. <laughs> Is there another Jinx in the room? No. Room? I'll do it anyway. <laughs> 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 that one sounds like it was dying. <laughs> it had a cold, okay? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the rarest of its kind. <laughs> oh, so something kind of interesting to note is um, when you fight any sort of double battle in this game, it's pretty much just... Whoever has the left poke, whoever has the right poke, if you fight the right side first, then they just swap the order. But they're actually treated as different trainers. Um, we figured that out because of randomizers. <laughs> so, so if you fight, for example, Amy and May, it'll go Lediba and then Spinarak. But if you fight the right, no, the left twin instead, it's May and Amy, and it goes Spinarak, Lediba. And it's not because they're switching the slots; it's because it's a separate trainer with a separate name and a separate list of Pokemon. It just happens to be the same ones. But that's something that comes up a lot in randomizers, is you'll see something on a left twin that somebody doesn't see because they took the right twin. A few bingos decided from that. <laughs> <laughs> karaoke? Hey, who wants to do karaoke after this? Huh? Anyone? Right, I'd better get dinner first. I mean, food first, obviously. We have a $30 donation from D-Sharper that says, Let's fight Steve. And with that, actually, we've actually met that incentive. <laughs> the Steve fight will happen in Lightning Returns. Did he actually say Steve? Yeah, he, he said, Let's fight Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. So with that, we're actually good on incentives until Tales of Fantasia, which is after Lightning Return. So in that, we have the main theme sing-along, which is Yagamoth singing along with the dog. And then we have a solo Chester versus the final boss incentive. Uh, both those are quite a few, quite a ways out, but uh, be sure to get those donations in. I see you, Casa. <laughs> woo! -woo, -woo. Wiggly woo! Wiggly woo! Wiggly woo! Wiggly woo! Wiggly woo! Wiggly woo! Kaiser, 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 Kaiser. So for the longest time, um, me and a bunch of people within the Pokemon community, whether it's randomizers or vanilla games or whatever, um, every time we saw Tangela, we'd, we'd call it Wiggly Woo. And I can't remember which YouTuber did it, but there was a YouTuber that was doing a Let's Play Nuzlocke, and he nicknamed his Tangela Wiggly Woo, and it's kind of just stuck ever since. The sunlight is strong in this one. <laughs> It's kind of funny how easy Erica's gym actually is, even though there's a type disadvantage. It's like every, everything dies in one hit except um, this Blossom, which you set up on Victory Bell because it's going to use Sunny Day turn one every time. So it just becomes a really free fight. It's a fight that I can say is boring and not get punished for. <laughs> they kind of had a bit of trouble with uh, leveling curves in Kanto. Yeah. It's kind of non-linear how you go about it. And... Yeah. Um, you can you can actually um, you can actually delay a bunch of gyms in Crystal to be the last gym. Like I've I've done randomizer races where Erica was the last gym just because I forgot about her. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Because, like, for whatever reason in, um... I might be mixing this up, but, um... If I remember right... Uh, some of the games, you're able to delay blue uh, till whenever you want, while other games, you have to have blue be the final bad. Also, this is kind of neat, so we surf to avoid the trainers and then fight her while surfing. I think this is the only gym you could do that in. <laughs> the laughing is kind of like the baseline. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another fight that for Alligator does a much better job than Entei. Um, I actually had a run where I died in this fight with Entei because you're using Iron Tail, and uh, Iron Tail can miss. Lovely move. Um, so it went, I set up, gold up crit surf, and then I missed iron tail on Lapras, and then Lapras crit surf, and then I was one dead hot dog. <laughs> so I, it's not very likely that we get this in one shot, I think. Well, I, did, I do have an extra level. Hopefully we get it. Hey! You are trying so hard to jinx yourself, though. So. <laughs> Why do you do this? To Look, man! Yeah, some of these fights do highlight how For Alligator does have the easier Kanto in some spots. Yeah. Are any of the gems in a different order with Entei, or is it. The... Yes. Um, Entei, you'll. You'll do. Um, you'll do Erica, like, right off the bat. Like, you won't even do the Nugget Bridge part first. You'll do Erica right off the bat, just because you can use the experience for Nugget Bridge. Um, the Misty fight's crap, like I said. Um, there are some variants where you do Sabrina a lot earlier. Um, there are some variants where you do Brock as one of the last. Like, really, it really depends on Entei's stats. Because as a legendary Pokémon, its growth rate is a little slower, so... You know, while you save time by not leveling up as much, um, it does kind of hinder you a little bit at the same time. No. Okay, it's it's an unfavorable position, but she just turned, so it was a good pass. So we don't we haven't hit a spinner in Kanto yet, which is good. We're gonna hit one because I said that. But <laughs> how many are left? Two. two, three if I so choose, but two. We have a $30 donation from Fishy saying, Anime has defeated in this run, but it shall return. Put this towards Japanese auto in final, audio in Final Fantasy XV. Damn weeb audio. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually kind of interesting to see um, how far Crystal as a speed game has come since I've been involved in the community. Um, I remember when I first started, um, we weren't even using moves like Return, like like I said before, we were still using Earthquake and stuff. Um, Sabrina's gym we actually did a little differently. We actually risked two spinners because we didn't realize there was an alternate path. So there's this spinner, and before we would go down right away, and then we'd risk another spinner, which I believe was her. Um, but somebody looked into testing out different rooms, and while the movement for what I just did was slower, you only have to dodge the one spinner as opposed to the two. And all you have to do is go a couple of tiles out of the way. And because of how much PP Return has, we're able to do interesting stuff like skip centers and just use, um, use PP healing items. Like we pick up a max ether to replenish Return. Also, I'm saying PP more than PowerPoints now because I used the bathroom, so it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> so you've beaten Erica and Misty and now Sabrina, right? Yes. Yep. And next up is Surge. So you're beating all the ladies first. 
now that I think about it. Mm. Never thought about it that way. Janine's second to last, though. Which, that's another, oh, yeah, that's another thing with the route changes I was talking about. Uh, Janine actually used to be after Erica. Mm. Um, we would take Cycling Road, but I, I believe it was Ryzikin. He was doing a Cyndaquil route, and um, he would skip a trainer that we'd have to fight taking Cycling Road. And it turns out that it was faster, so Janine got, Janine got put off because of that. Like Janine in general is pretty easy. The, the only thing that goes wrong with Janine is whether she uses a dire hit or not. And the only thing wrong with that is losing like one point something seconds. If I'm wanting to remember, Janine's, her, the level of her Pokemon are really low. Like, yeah. lower than Koga, which I guess makes sense because she's her, his daughter, but still. He's so stressful. Oh! Oh! I, I went for it in a directional that wasn't favored, but since he just turned, uh, my chances were still pretty decent. But uh, no, he's a jerk. What a nerd. What a nerd. <laughs> what he's a also super got nerd. Oh no! <laughs> More anime! Um, well, you know, it might be fitting anyway. He has three anime. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anime gets its revenge. This nerd with anime. Mm. 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 He's a think. He's a think. Have you fought any Kiss of Inks? Any Tediosos? No. No, yeah, there aren't any in the. It's unfortunate. No little bears. No little bears. Thought of it is unbearable. It's okay, eventually you run XD and you get to use Big Bear all the time. <laughs> yeah, you do use Earth Ring after you, like, transit. Yep. Use Earth Ring and Yep. Yeah. Mage Bear Or Jolt's got depending on the route. So Hydro Pump's a stronger move, but it's less accurate and only has 5 PP. That, uh, and I don't really have space for it. Because we have two HMs and you can't just teach over HMs. Now see, this this guy always confused me because you you save the power plant, which helps him, but then like he laughs maniacally at the end. Like he's like, here you go, here's an expansion card. And then he just laughs like a maniac. <laughs> exactly like that. He's just that excited about the radio. Possessed by the ghosts of the old Lavender Tower. <laughs> I feel like there's some lore to this. I do not know the lore. We'll have to look into it. Maybe he becomes rich and becomes Lysander. And <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> God. And why. Are, are we going to try and connect all the games together? Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. Create the true Pokemon timeline. Also, this is the absolute best variation of Lieutenant Surge's gym because the trash cans are all empty and the door is always open. It's lovely. So they fixed that in Heart Gold, right? It's totally random. Yep. It's uh. So the way that it works in Heart Gold and in uh, Fire Red Leaf Green is whichever can it is, it's one that's adjacent to it. Thankfully, in the remakes, you can manipulate them. Yeah. Fixed is also an interesting word choice. <laughs> but um, in, in Gen 1, you actually manipulate trash cans in uh, red. In yellow, you don't because your chances of getting it are good. But, I mean, as a speedrunner, you know that means that your chances are actually bad. <laughs> Let's see, I'm like, trying to look through here and see if those three surfs are going to cost me or not. I can always just center to be safe, but God knows I'm gonna be overestimated anyway. <laughs> so how about that Raichu cry? How about the fact that when Pikachu evolves into Raichu, it loses its fingers? <laughs> oh my God, you're right. Yeah, like oh Pika my God. Pikachu has fingers, and then when it turns into Raichu, it's just little nubs. <laughs> wow, that's terrible. What a what an awful existence. That's why Pikachu didn't want to evolve. Yeah. That's why he kept refusing it. He's like, I want my fingers. Magnemite's pretty awesome because you get three of it. Yeah. Doug Trio as well. Yeah, Doug Trio too. Good old keys of us. Was that an emote? No. When I first did randomizers of Pokemon, there were three races in a row where the only thing I could find was Electabuzz, and I lost all of them and got fourth place. Mm -hmm. Suddenly a lot of things make sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stream lore.
See, if we had a, uh, if we had instant text, I'd go to the bike voucher guy and get the rare candy from him. It's because I'm not confident in this, in this alligator at all. So why don't you have sunglasses? Like Surge does. Oh, well, you see, if somebody wants to grab my sunglasses from the bag... <laughs> <laughs> I can. Ooh. No, no, we, should, we need to make it a donation incentive. <laughs> yeah, someone donate $5 right now. And I'll <laughs> 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 it's not for that. We have a $5 donation from Picalax Alt saying, Hi, Oro. I mean, Keys. Great one run so far. Good luck on your upcoming bingo race with Fire1520. Putting this money towards naming Archie Keys a W. Wait, Herc lost? Herc, you suck! <laughs> <laughs> also, that was five bucks. I don't care if it's for this good enough for me. No one can avenge me against Fire. I will, don't pointed. worry. I will. I'm gonna lose horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't run an Umbreon again. You only get to get away with that once. I can't believe that worked. You suck. Wait, what is, what is the story of the Umbreon? I couldn't find anything, but it had a baller move set, so I went with it. <laughs> and I it won. beat a Dragonite. A Drill Pack Dragonite, right? Yeah. This Medic is why you sucks. trust the Eevees. Medic I blame so Medic, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Easy decision. Fault. Bit of an older donation, but we have a $50 donation from Yonaman saying, Hey everyone, keep on doing what you're doing. Having paranoid schizophrenia myself, I know that mental illness is needs to have awareness, spread it worldwide. Raising money to spread awareness and provide help is a great way to do so. Donation goes towards naming Dratini Blame Medic. Kiza, make this run count. I'm trying. <laughs> I keep looking over because I'm like hoping that estimate says 350 instead of 340. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um... <laughs> yeah, we're going to be totally underestimate because I'm so good at video games. <laughs> Press 1 if you think Kiza's good at video games. Press 2 if you also think I'm good at video games. 3. Three. <laughs> Three means I'm extremely good at video games. Four. Four. God, the higher it goes, the bigger my ego is. Negative four. <laughs> so, so where, where's that humble sign again? <laughs> Zero. Zero. No. Are we sure we haven't had any late donations for anime? <laughs> <laughs> I see zero is way on the right of the keyboard, so it's even better. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> Negative. You got your $5 donation, by the way. Yeah. Anonymous, because keys are on set, so. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them to donate a lot more if it's that easy. <laughs> so hopefully Omistar doesn't use Protect. But of course, since I said that, Omistar is going to use Protect. If Omistar, protect. if Omistar doesn't use Protect, then I can get away with hitting Tom. Okay, it, it, it took a second, so I thought the game was thinking about it. Like, this isn't the DS, it doesn't have the mic to listen to you yet. Yeah. <laughs> yet. I mean, if you're speedrunning a DS Pokemon, you might as well speedrun speed it on a 3DS, because the 3DS mic is terrible. Could you imagine if that was also the, terrible? Oh God. Mm. Could you imagine if that were actually the case, though? Yeah, I'm running on 3DS because it can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Speedruns have become sentient. This fight's also annoying as Entei because you have to use Iron Tail a lot. And there's nothing like getting Protect from Omastar while Iron Tailing and then missing the next turn. Right, so we're getting close to the home stretch here. We got uh, we got Blaine left, we got Janine left, and then we got Blue. You mean Gary? Yes. Ah, darn it. You messed up my movement. It's all your fault. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome. So this is a uh, Viridian Forest. It's a it's a shell of its former self. It's just Viridian bushes. And somebody cut all the grass. It's also much more cheerful. Somebody bought a lot over that, huh? Yep. Yes. Also, this is super cheery sounding. 
And it's over. And it's over. <laughs> and that song's over now. And now we're stuck with this annoying music. So, question: Why didn't? Why don't you bike around to the side of the water to start something? Um, because of um, one, the rappel timing that I have set up, and two, going around and then bonking in the water is actually super slow because of how Gen Two handles bonks. That's fair. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> But because of the way that I did it, um, both in terms of repel timing and um, like the amount of steps I took for the repel, my repel is actually going to wear out right in front of the center here. So I'm able to combine my repel menu with um, using the max ether, along with using surf as well. Like there's a, there's a lot that's combined here. Uh, that, that's a spinner that you can try to avoid. Um, it's been affectionately referred to as the keys at charge because I had one run where my time was terrible and it didn't matter anymore, so I just went through the bottom and dodged him. Wow. This is this is the best gym. <laughs> Luckily in Heart Gold Soul Silver he gets an actual gym, but here he just gets a, he gets a sad little room. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the funniest part about it to me is the guy that gives you the tips, like the, hey, champ in the making guy. He doesn't show up until after the fight. Oh, that's he's, sad. He's just like, darn, I didn't make it. So who has the better gym, Lane or Jasmine? I would say, ironically, Blaine. <laughs> it's less work. Less walking? Less walking. You don't have to dodge a spinner twice. Shoutouts to Mamgar strats. <laughs> <laughs> the various, various strats. Strats is a word. Hey, he's the one that introduced Old Rod to us. <laughs> True. I'm getting strength from all line first. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you back there. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, see, now he's there. But he gets covered up by the text box anyway, so you don't even notice right away if you're not paying attention. A lot of help he was. Okay, three fights left. We got Janine, who's super easy. Blue, who isn't too hard, but can be a little bit trolly. And then Red, which... He's red. red. Red is varying degrees of difficulty depending on the route you're on. So for alligator route, obviously the most dangerous thing is the Pikachu because it has thunder. Um, with Entei, the most dangerous thing is actually the Blastoise, and you're really praying for a flinch because if you don't get a flinch on the Blastoise, it does stand a chance of killing you with Surf. Um, depending on how bad your Entei special DV is, Surf can actually just straight up one-hit KO you. So I, I remember when I had heard that we switched to Entei, I was super excited because I was like, oh man, red's going to be so much easier. And then the very first run I ever did, I was just <laughs> drowned. <laughs> also, Janine fight's really simple um, on both routes. Like, you just pick the same move and you just mash forever. So we're just using nothing but return. Um, you, you can see that there's a huge level discrepancy. I think they buffed it quite a bit in the remakes. The remakes, she did get buffed up, yeah. Well, everyone did, I think. Yeah, in the remakes in general, everything got buffed up. They, they kind of tried to fix how poor the balance was, and I would say that HeartGold SoulSilver, out of all the main series games, actually does the best in terms of balancing, but it still has issues. We have a $15 donation from Rick Gastly saying, Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Keys of what? Mm -hmm. Basically. Dan's game. Do want to remind you guys, we are RPG Limit Break brought to you by Twitch. We are here in Salt Lake City, live raising money for you guys. Uh, or raising money for the National Alliance of Mental Illness, NAMI. Uh, so get those donations in. We've got, we're doing this all week. It'll be fantastic. So, yeah. <laughs> That's right, I rickroll you guys and then I pull 
plug and talk about how who we are. It's awesome. Uh, she's also one of the only Kanto gym leaders that gives you a TM. Both her and uh, Erica. Erica gives you Giga Drain and she gives you Toxic. That's such an awkward place for that to run out. From what I remember, Giga Drain's pretty bad in this game, but it got pretty decent later on. Well, it's, it's actually pretty decent. It's just. It has such a low PP count. Oh, well, five, right? Yeah, yeah. they bought it to ten later, yeah. Which that really helped it. Legos! Lego! Yeah. Let's go, Lego Jim. What did this look like? That's right, it was the, like, tile spinning thing. Yeah, yeah. there are a ton of spinning tiles and stuff. They're, they're very fast paced. Unlike Gen 1 spinning tiles. Moves good. Wing attack kind of sucks. I, I I was really hoping I wouldn't take too much damage because more damage means more healing. It's kind of funny if mirror move let him use the item you were using. <laughs> Imagine trying to catch something. Oh if, my god! If mirror moves your Pokeball, you were caught. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was very little, on my first playthrough, I trained up to a Pidgeot, and Mirror Move was the last move it learned, I think. So as a little kid, I just, I just assumed it was like the ultimate move, so I just kept yeah. spamming it, and I was like, it's not doing anything, but it has to be good, so let me just keep <laughs> using it. Also, if there are ever any fights that tell me how badly programmed Gen 2 actually can be, it's the last two fights in the, in the run, because the HP bar just goes down so slow. It's something they didn't really address until much, actually very recently. I think Gen 5, they made the HP bar much faster Yeah, Gen overall. 5's way better. Really made it Gen, Gen 5 UI is a really nice, it's so nice, nice change of pace. And then in Gen 4, you find a Blissey and punch it and it takes, and you can go get a drink in the mid. <laughs> yeah. And then in Sun and Moon, you have that Thing where the amount of time it takes is the same regardless of how much HP it has, so you leave it at one HP and it takes forever to yeah. bring it down. Yeah, the Blissey and Victory Road in Platinum, I think, takes like, I timed it once, it was like 11 or 12 seconds to go down. I was like. Why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> it's almost the Animorph soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> it's really close. <laughs> So one of the hardest fights ever is coming up in a sec. He's got to talk to Oak. He's got to give me the pass. We have a $10 donation from Ad Wayloth saying, Hello here, good luck for your amazing runs. And then it waved at you, so... We have a $20 anonymous donation saying, Lost to a friend a year ago and want to encourage everyone to help those you see in need. Keep up the good work and Feraligator is the greatest Pokemon in A. He's gonna have to be for this fight. He's he's definitely gonna have to be. We have a $5 donation from Tarrant93 saying, I was wondering why there's no tropical freeze run from Spike Vegeta these days. And now I see him in the crowd. What's up, boy? Give a wave. That's not a wave. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so I do need a little bit of quiet when I'm going through the dark because I am gonna use audio cues to tell where I am. Unlike smart casual runners, I did not pick up Flash. 
Also, I'm wearing sunglasses, so it'll be extra dark. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't too bad. Woo! All right, obviously saving before this fight. Good luck. Because reasons. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, it's co-op. Now you can blame me. I just noticed it said co-op. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we have just a projector showing the stream to us right now, so. Charm, 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 charm. What a charming voice heart here. Charm, 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 charm. Okay, good. Um, he's most likely to use it on turn two, so. Charm, charm. Okay. Okay. Sick. Okay, we get to go. We did it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Snorlax, the big one. Another <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. deep breath. <laughs> Said if. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Mercy. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I was waiting for crit burn there. Me too. <laughs> Alright, and time is after I finish the dot 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 text box. Not not this upcoming one, but the one on the overworld, so dot 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 time. <laughs> Underestimate. Underestimate, good job. I did it! <laughs> mm. I wanna see what my in-game time is, because I know it was awful. <laughs> but is it underestimate? That's way underestimate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, just a quick announcement, um, as admin of the Pokemon speedrun community, I temporarily changed the rules to in-game time, so... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'd like to say a quick shout-outs to Goss here for finishing the run. I wasn't expecting you to be able to do it. Uh, <laughs> thank you for my lovely couch and the lovely crowd behind me that kept this interactive and fun. Thanks to Ghoul for being a host. Everyone on tech, thanks for dealing with me being 
underestimate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shout out to everyone that watched this and everyone that's donating and stuff. You're donating to a really great cause. It's uh, near and dear to my heart. So, um, yeah, that was Pokemon Crystal. I am Kizaron. This is my couch. And I will see you guys next time. We have a $5 donation from Kitsy Max saying, Hey, Kizaron, thanks for the goose and good times. We're going to do a quick Twitch ad, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs>